previously on Tessie Teams. I was just gonna say, is there anything we should be aware of while we're down there? She's like, you need to make absolutely sure you don't bring any of these spores out with you. I think we should maybe see if we can leverage these spores in some way. As you grab a, <laughs> as you grab a handful of them, your hand strikes something firm. Oh. Just beneath the soil. This is a tooth. I want to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to teach you guys how to use your um, fists and your feet as deadly assassination tools. Do you have any resources that are left over? I am not unfamiliar with poisons. This I like. We have another day, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got one more. Sorsha is running into the front of the town. Uh huh. Um, blood trickling down oh. uh, uh, her mouth on the left side. Uh, and that is when the very first fire arrow <gasps> strikes the thatch ah! of the bunkhouse. It threatens the fastest weapon You wouldn't make it past a second And that's the question Play it brash and reckless Or choose a cautious solution You thought was prudent In any sepulcher Poker to become the putrid It's that wealth that I'm pursuing No mountain too steep Or dungeon too deep To send expendable marks Up to the top of the peak of beneath They see you bleed They come like sharks to it While I swim in that money bin Like Carl Barks drew it So send your national parks drew it I'll send them home in a natural box With a closed top And most of the parts included Save your breath for a cleric confessor. Death is a lesson and life is a tenured professor. But if you're seeking my official advice, sign on the dotted line and initial it twice. Oh my god. Fuck. Brian Hartman. Yeah. I'll yell it. You're the weakest fucking link. <laughs> okay, listen up. I'm gonna introduce the show to the people now. And I need I need to know that you're on fucking board. Time is the enemy, bro. Time is the enemy. Oh, Come on. Uh, well, you're not wrong. Hello. Uh, I am Tycho Brahe of Penny Arcade Pax. I am also a Menifus Hereward Drawn, CEO of Acquisitions Incorporated, Paramour to Evelyn. <gasps> Whoa. Confirmed? Jeez. No. Spoilers. Whoa. No, not yet. Jeez, I'm working on it. You won't stop talking about this. I'm working this <laughs> outside of the game. Every conversation <laughs> with Jerry and Ryan revolves around this. Table Here. talk, shipping your own character. Yes. <laughs> exactly. I, I, I'm telling you that I'm at a position to ship at a completely new welcome level of execution. Can we, welcome. For the, for the people who maybe don't watch DCA, can you give like a 20 second version of why yes. you're shipping with you? Yes, I okay. had my character write another character a letter. Yeah. Uh, in a sort of like, you know like how at the beginning Mr. Darcy is like a dick? Yeah. But then like near the end it's sort of like he's a little contrite. Yeah. But he's still like rich as hell. Yeah. That's the, that's the, I, I tried uh, to go for that last You're comparing part. yourself yeah, nice. to Mr. Darcy? Yes. Are you darcy -der? Wow. 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 Oh, geez. Yep. Woo! Okay. Reminds me of my character. I don't know if you read the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, the Jesus? He's, no, no, no. Bible. Paul. <laughs> <laughs> now listen. Uh, we're going to get back into it. Uh, but today, I'm here to game a uh, run of dragons <laughs> from sure. friends. I gave him one wow. sip of scotch. He's I flustered. Not, you gave me some scotch and now I'm a mess. Uh, but today, I'm here to run a game of Dungeons & Dragons for my friends. To my right! Dragonborn Narcissus to Narblitzen. Don't you do it. Don't you do oh, it. Uh, oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Sorry everyone. To... <laughs> See, but Amy doesn't know if she should be angry or delighted. It's a very... No, she knows. No, she knows. <laughs> that's, a polite, that's a polite smile. That's uh, not joy. To the right of my right, repping the natural world, the walnut dog grass. It's a bird. It's a tree? Kakraw! Kakraw. Kakraw, you heard? Hey, hey, to my left, not your grandma's grandma, except in those rare cases where she is your grandma's grandma, 
Rosie Beestinger. Yeah. Yeah. Known uh, drunkard. Uh, yeah. Uh, We're celebrating. We'll talk about it on Table Talk. <laughs> we will. We will indeed. Uh, to the left of my oh, left. Grandmama. Yes. Oh hey. my God! Delete I, the show. I couldn't let it go. I had to. Ah, keep it. Oh, grandma. To, <laughs> to the left of my left, emerging. Look at this tiresome. Oh, this Miss Trout. I can't. I, I'm sick of it. Emerging as though from a Miss Trout. Kathris Drow. Ah. Hey, see, he still got it. See, after this conversation we just had about crime, <laughs> it takes on a whole new kind of visual angle. The, the P team. No, you this. don't know. <laughs> Oh. For your health, yeah, <laughs> it's like in a pamphlet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Finally. most of, most of today's show, we have a new sponsor. It's a butt thing, and we're just going to talk about the <laughs> <laughs> extremestraits.com. No, no, no. I wish it was extremestraits.com. Dude, you oh. need you need to drink responsibly. Hmm. Always. She oh. had two sips. We got a break. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not talking about like not drinking. I'm saying like. Drink. Choose when to put yeah, it up here. Oh, sure. right. yeah. Spit takes. Yeah, exactly. I gotta make sure. Nobody's gonna be funny. It's like, ah. There's another umama coming. Safe zone. <laughs> <laughs> Take a big gulp. <laughs> Get that cross. Fill, fill your Stuff. nostrils. Yeah. Damn. Uh, shout out council. Mayor Labors, please you. It's a great pleasure uh, to hang out with you today. Uh, pursuant, uh, pursuant to this hangout phase, uh, there's a celebratory action as well. Uh, because... Uh, on the Discord and on the Twitter, uh, we're going to put out the C team and B team logos for your use in uh, in high, dense, rich formats. Amy, what's a good uh, graphic format? JPEGs. 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 GIF. GIF. <laughs> it's it's like pronounced. Each face. GIF. But it is GIF, GIF Yankee. P- <laughs> no, uh, I support you 100%. Thank you. Uh, what do you say? We play some Dorngeons and Dragons. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, what happened right. last yeah. time? Well, no, nothing would bring me more pleasure. Uh, what happened last time was that everything was great because there was a whole extra day to plan. <laughs> um, and so our, our party effed off. Yeah. Leisurely. Oh. Wow. Did leisurely. <clears throat> strolls near the river, messing around with teeth underground. Editorializing. That's what we call it. Editorializing this. at length. No, him. <laughs> oh no, dude! I was I was straight up hundred degree fever. Like, oh, that's true. I had to yeah. watch the episode again to know what happened. Oh wow! It was like that. It was you were basically just a part of my dream vision. <laughs> uh, the The main thing to take away uh, was that the, the team did their very best, uh, along with Sorsha and Withmid, uh, to prepare the town of Promise for the imminent attack. Uh, now, at the end uh, of that day. Uh, as everyone was preparing to settle down for the night, uh, Krenar noticed uh, her mother, Sorsha, entering the town from the East Road. Uh, indeed, the very road that our party entered when they first came to this town. And what she saw was her mother, but running at a high rate of speed. Um, and this was accompanied by a single flaming arrow uh, that lodged itself in the thatch of the southernmost bunkhouse. She was bleeding. I would I would describe her injuries as considerable. Yes. Great. Oh shit. Love it. She is not in a good spot. I mean historically she has come back from these excursions of hers uh, unscathed. Uh, she's just come back with a bundle of other people's weapons. Uh, this time she has those weapons but they're lodged in the flesh. Mm. So still still successful run. Um, but huh. there's a lot of blood, you'd say. Okay. Too much. Too much. So we won't be fishing. Uh, well, you can fish. <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> I, I, I see, I see uh, Dinar, you're prepared. Yeah. You've got Quite a fishing... A challenge. You've got can a fish, fish fantasy. Mid, can I fish mid-battle? <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, I'm saying that there is a situation where it's like everybody else is like, all right, I need you to, I need you to go up and make sure that nobody's getting into the trench. Right, I, I, you need to shore up the eastern side. What's you know? What's your contribution? Fishing. Look, here's what I here's how I envision it. <laughs> Things are going terrible. Fishing it. We're all everyone's getting overrun. Yeah. As everyone's this close, razor's edge of death. One hail mary shot in a million. Catch that lucky ass fish. Turns the tide of battle. That's catch true. the fish. All of a sudden, then you got some sort of Rube Goldberg mechanism that like takes out the whole army. Like a 
a butterfly like hits a grasshopper that hits a rock that. Right. Well, something that bug fish. related. Something yeah. bug related. <laughs> Butterfly like the like, first six steps are all bugs. It's got to start so Because you're no, like, no. what's happening? Like, oh, I get it. Yeah, yeah, butterfly so. hits a grasshopper. It ends with a meteor. <clears throat> well, no, but it knocks the grasshopper like into a skills program. Oh. Yeah. Uh, you see what I mean? Yeah. yeah. He learns Excel. Starts mentoring. <laughs> you know what I mean? VCR repair. Yeah. <laughs> Home refrigeration repair. Or get yeah. your degree. Cash yeah. for gold. Cash for gold, yeah. Or get your degree. Uh, so... Uh, that that is the scenario. This is not yet uh, an initiative yeah. type of scenario. But refresh. So where we were, mm-hmm. we were sitting with where we Renard, were. Yes. Examining one of those <coughs> toys in the underdark. In, in, indeed, I'm and Krenar was actively trying to collapse the toy mm-hmm. uh, back <laughs> in in a, in a manner like I suggested before, where. You're trying to contain the novelty serpents right. that are occasionally released from a can of peanut brittle. And she has been taught by Rosie to uh, to do you <clears throat> some properly. basic, indeed, yes. indeed. She's got some basic skills with shadow and also a kind of knack uh, for the sorceress, uh, even at a even 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 at a young age. She is exhibiting these traits a lot earlier than I've seen them before. <clears throat> oh no, as, as someone with a lot of experience uh, with the mm-hmm. young, Magical including, children. well indeed, and including the very young, uh, this is an odd thing. You, you don't know if it's because uh, the children that you've encountered thus far have been dumb and bad, or, or uh, dragonborn, dragonborn, <laughs> dragonborn childhood may be <laughs> <laughs> Dragonborn childhood might be distinct. I mean, certainly uh, a baby snake is in a very, very different position to defend itself than a baby bird. Yeah. Sure. You, you know, know what know. I mean? That's deep. I said you don't know. How like the snake? Okay, so if I see Sorsha and she's <clears throat> she's goofed. No, no, so, so I mean, I can, I'll just give you all the information you need. Like I say, we're not, I just okay. want to make sure that you know. This is a storytelling this is the. I'm ready to do this something. This is the storm. Will you let Walnut tell us before story? the storm? No, I'm just saying. Like, I just want to give you the information yes, that you need so you. that you can you can respond. Do something. Um, as she she is coming in, she starts in at a run, mm-hmm. and then uh, sees Krenar, and then continues to come in. And this run is losing steam. Yep. The farther she is getting toward the center of town, is she being pursued? Um, it is now nighttime. So there's no way. Uh, so you are in the middle of a very, very dark. That was morning. Uh, no. So no. You're, you're in the middle of a, of a very you dark, a uh, hilly. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a dark, and uncivil, hilly un- uncivilized place. Um, so, uh, so they're doing their thing, but um, upon seeing her, if she is hurt and has like. Stepping her back, I'm gonna go try and like help her. Um, so I'll run up and um, does she have like things sticking out of her back? For I was gonna real? say, so as she comes in, she kneels uh, in front of Krenar, okay. and then Krenar gives her a hug, and Sorsha looks up at you and just nods. Just a like a, a grim, grave. That's not a nod. That's a nod that's shaking that's a, your head. No, the podcast, she, he just shakes shook her, head she shakes her head. Oh, I see. Um, <laughs> And she speaks. That's a to, mind. <laughs> she speaks to Krenar in a uh, uh, in a hushed uh, dragonborn, uh, like, a, like a dragonborn speech. Oh. And uh, Krenar uh, runs back, grabs what is left of her toy, and then uh, runs at full speed to the uh, entrance of the mine. Mm. Okay, um, so get this shit out of here. Garbage. You got some magic to the, out of my way. Yeah, I want to um, do cure wounds on uh, Sorsha just to get it started. I'm just below my only healing spell immediately in the beginning. Well, the right most before important this character, fight. though. So well, yeah. I feel like she can do character. more damage than any of us. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll get close and put a hand on her shoulder and heal her for. Five plus eight. Nice. Thirteen. Okay. Thirteen. Yes. The number of the beast. Number of the beast. Um, I think it's a number. It is. I'm not a, a beast master. It mm-hmm. is a number. Hey. We know that. Thank you. 
Uh, so there are many beasts. You, you can so you can see like on her back. I, I, so she watches Renar <clears throat> go, and as mm-hmm. you cast this spell, um, you can see that her cloak is actually pinned to her back Ugh. by several arrows. Oh. Um, and as you cast the spell, um, these arrows and their arrow heads are sort of being pushed out, mm-hmm. uh, pushed out the back. Uh, and th- you can just hear them like clattering to the ground one by one. Gross. I, I, listen, I just I guess have to tell you what happens. Um, how how many were there? <clears throat> Give me a number. She says, "I think that we have incorrect information." You mean we couldn't trust that pigeon? I think <laughs> we have been operating under. Some mistaken auspices. The pigeon was the traitor. They're com- I, the whole time. I didn't yeah. see that coming. They're coming from the south. <laughs> uh, she says, "We need to defend this city from all sides." Mm, great. I'm going to run after Krenar. Absolutely. Just because sending a baby into a mine with a shadow thing seems weird. <laughs> <laughs> Paternal instinct would kick in and be like, "What?" Yeah. And run after. Her. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, your stride is substantially greater than this baby's, um, so you can you can absolutely uh, head her off there. Rosie would probably yell after you, it's like, "You can't go down there. We need you." Uh, I would keep running. <laughs> okay. Hey, I need a uh, perception roll from you, uh, Big Daddy Dinar. Of the yum yum, a nine, uh, <clears throat> and your your perception is is Nothing. goose egg flat, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. You just you sort of you you are you find yourself uh, having just caught up with Krenar then. Okay, before we get to the mine. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, right at the mouth of it. It's just like whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, and I would say, where, where are you doing? Where are you going? <clears throat> she said, Mama said cave. Why? Safe. Oh, I, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> you could defend the mouth of the cave, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> it is probably the best place for her. It's a giant's tomb. <laughs> yeah, but all there's not... worms down there. Worms and mushrooms. Right now. Yeah. 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 Uh, I say, all right, go, but stay near the front. Yeah, so you, <clears throat> you push her in. Um, and uh, you Rosie, see... Rosie wants to yell. It's like, remember what I taught you? <laughs> it's like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She just waves, <laughs> just waves from the mouth, uh, and you just see, sort of see her shadow enter the uh, mouth of the cavern, and she is gone. <laughs> Stay where I can see you. She doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> just deep. <laughs> oh, just well, she's three. Well. I mean, it's just like that's not that's well, not on the menu. Kathris looks on and, and says, uh, "Lathander saved little children. <laughs> they abide and they endure." <laughs> we don't have time for this. Yeah, Rosie's like, nope. not now. But and there's a little wistful look, like I can't keep uh, that, up with which god you that like. Beautiful best. innocence. <laughs> what are you looking at me for? This whole town is going to die. <laughs> I wanna... Can you can I get a uh, perception roll from you, Rose? Not great. It's an eight. Okay. You need better rolls than this guy's. Thanks. Mm. I, w- I want to sprint to the southern side of town. Absolutely. So the southern side of town, uh, uh, as you recall, is mostly just sort of tall, wild grasses mm-hmm. uh, that Perfect. sway maybe about waist deep. Um, so I will get low. Get low. Get low. <laughs> Horrible. Um, <laughs> I'll get low and uh, whisper to the grass and you speak with plants, which <gasps> turns it into difficult terrain. Yeah! Ooh. And I will do that. My girl. <clears throat> so you see uh, you see uh, walnut make a break uh, for the southern edge. You recall that there is a sort of ruined half height wall down there. Not much of any uh, protection at all. Mm-hmm. Uh, and what, so what do you ask them? Um, yeah, that's where she is. I say, uh, what do I ask them? Um, I say, uh, 
like bind yourself together and hoping it makes like some little mesh, little foot catches. I've never, or if we, you, it's been a while since you've addressed a, a plant. I've never done it. I thought there were vines in a house that you might have spoken to, but yeah, okay. if you've never done it, maybe you haven't. But is there a particular way that walnut, like, is there a cadence or a greeting or an opening that she would use that's different from animals when she speaks with plants? Oh. Yeah, like on a dating site. Yeah. Like, like, like on, on speak. Your, yeah, your, <clears throat> your dating profile on a plant site. Yeah. Like, what's your, what's your intro? What's your headline? What's your yeah. paragraph? Um, there would be one, but not in this situation, and that'll give me more time to think about it. Yeah. Nice. It, this it, is nice. like an emergency. Well, <clears throat> this is right. an emergency. Okay. Exactly. This is not like this is not socialization time with the plants. No. So you can see that the the moon is sort of casting a silvery carpet uh, over these tall grasses, and you can see this ocean of grass just bow to walnut, um, and then raise itself up and just begin to like shake and uh, dance and shiver. Nice. Uh, pee just chunk by chunk. Some message is being passed around in the root system. I watch her do this and I smile. Um, and I turn. I can tell that you have the southern approach. Like, I don't know what you just did, but I know that that grass is loving you. So <laughs> I'm like, she's got this one. And then Rosie starts to pound her staff on the ground. Because it's night and everybody's in their homes. Mm. So she's trying to send out the loudest sound she can. And she starts to yell. She's like, it's time. Everyone, what we learned, out. To me. <laughs> <laughs> to me. <clears throat> so that sentence fragments. Also, she casts <laughs> thaumaturgy. Oh, it's a big boom. To make like a big old, like a sonorous, like gong sound afterward. Absolutely. So the... Um, the gathering bell, uh, you can hear the uh, the rough bunks sort of creaking as people jump down. And there in the center of town, before people have emerged, a massive whistling cloud of arrows descends on the courtyard. Okay. Could I... Um... Are any of them close enough for me to? Oh no, no, no! You can do you can do all of your you can do your good stuff. But okay. There's a ton of these. <laughs> yeah, okay. all of them. <laughs> yeah, can I just hug them? <laughs> no, just a point at a time. Can you walk on them to the enemy like a path? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Like uh, Fortnite. So the thing that I want to do, and I, I think maybe this will okay. be. I don't know if I need a roll, but what what I'd like to do is, um, I don't know who's shooting. I assume they're too far away. But as these start to come, I want to grab one out of the air and look at it as the rest are falling around me and just whisper like, oh no, it's, it's too late. Here, let me, let's do a couple of these. Uh, what's your AC? Uh, 14? Yeah, 16. Yeah. 16, 16. Yeah, okay. I, knew that, I didn't think 14 was right. Well, yeah, they have, you've been missed by six of these. Nice. So you're looking pretty good. So, yeah. this, so just like... Effortlessly, like like plucking an apple, is there you any, just take it out of the air. And I, I'm going to examine. Is there anything, any tell, telltale marks that are interesting? Are there the feathers crafted of something interesting? It's no, just some no, rugged ass bandage. No, this shit. is yeah, this is whatever the REI equivalent is in the Summer Hills. Nice, great. I mean, they pro do have a really good return. <laughs> yeah, pro sumer. Um, what are we doing? The okay, so uh, she casts a look back at Walnut and then <clears throat> throws the arrow away. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so people are gathering at the doors. They don't. Yeah. They're not sure if this is a good place to come out. We have unlimited ammo now, though. That's true. You know what? Bright side. Anybody got like a Neo Matrix ability where we can turn all the arrows back? And I love Walnut. You just looked at your spell sheet, you blessed <laughs> angel. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, do I? <laughs> no, I can. There it is. It's <laughs> buried in there. Yeah, Neo shit. No. <laughs> Druid level six. I wish. Um. Well. I guess the thing <coughs> Rosie would probably do would be to, um, fuck, I don't know if there's anything we can do. I guess Grandma Mancy. Yeah, tell me more. Ooh. Um, tell me what you're gonna do with this Grandma the, Mancy. What are you gonna do with all this Grandma Mancy? All this Grandma Mancy up in your <laughs> Grandma Fancy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, so which direction are the arrow's coming from? 
Uh, they are coming from the east. The east, as, as near as you can the, tell, which is the road. Indeed. Okay. Mm. So then, what Rosie would like to do is to um, whisper to her staff, lovingly, affectionately, making up for lost time. Yeah. Um, and she's going to um, extend her hand outward and, with using gramomancy, erect a wall blocking off the path from the road. Describe this wall. Um, it is. And you shall have it. Excellent. It's a solid mass of like thick black shadow, but interspersed ever so because she's using this extra oomph yeah. from the staff of the master, you can actually see starlight twinkling Ooh. in this wall. <clears throat> so it's almost like she erected a whole new slice of the sky. In the depths <sighs> of it. Yes. yes. Right. That's awesome. Oh yeah, there's probably there's probably a point like in your vision where it just looks like these pillars are coming down. Right. Yeah, that is an awesome image. And uh, it's not, I don't think it's something that they couldn't shoot through, but at least now they can't see where mm. they're shooting. Well, exactly. Like, I think what's what's more likely, well, I'll, I'll tell you what happens okay. when it happens. Uh, Kathris Drow, <gasps> do you have any any non Hallmark observations? Just, I'm, just, I'm just weeping <laughs> beautifully. Just, just, the, <laughs> just the huge. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, there's. Uh, I'm surprised at this at the tears uh, coming out of all of the eyes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there's a lot. Oh, there's, like, uh, there's like there's like forty. Gross. I am as I am as he made me. <laughs> um, Immediately dehydrated. <laughs> Way too much fluid. Like, can't it's a say small that. Small creek. Yeah. Um, okay, so you just you just put that wall up on the east side mm-hmm. on the road. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, De- so it's like erected here. Right. Describe though. Where is the um, where is that hill where we were building a trench? <coughs> I was just going to say that's north. north. Here. That's Here. above Here. the cave. Yeah. It- <sighs> blitz in, everybody. Nice. That mental map. He filed it away. Now I would like a perception roll from you, Kafris Drow. Take advantage. That's right. I will advantage it. Oh yeah, you did perception. Yeah, I'm doing okay. Advance. Yeah. Ooh, maybe keep keep rolling. So maybe somebody will get a toy. Exactly. Yeah, give him a prize. Okay, so that one was a down. 21, and this one is a 11. But, 11. Okay. but what do I get for 21? Very so, so in the in the sight uh, that is granted to you by these alien eyes, mm-hmm. uh, you turn your attention to that hill, mm-hmm. uh, the hill where uh, just a day ago, when there was so much time to prepare. Mm-hmm. Uh, a trench was dug by the village of Promise, uh, and the st- and stone walls were erected on each side. Um, you can see, uh, for lack of a better term, meat uh, up cresting the ridge of this hill. Um, you can see uh, entities, uh, some useless mortal flesh uh, attempting to make a home of the town's defensive trench. Is the so to be clear, is the is the idea that this is meat, is this <coughs> something that my vision gave to me? It it the the property of my eyes parsed this. It confers it. It's like, oh this is prey. This is something to eat. Mm-hmm. And they're making a home. Yeah. Is this also interpretation of my eye? Uh, no, no. Uh, this this much is this much is simply factual. Uh, they have crested this ridge from the other side of the hill, and have now made uh, a defensive bastion for themselves in your defensive bastion. I see. So they've 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 like slithered into the trench, and are like fortifying it. Correct. That doesn't okay. sound like something bandits would do. Yeah, they're a trench now. Do they do they move as people though? One hundred percent familiar to me. Okay. They do yeah. sound like bandits. Yeah, but there's always an editorial aspect to some of these high flailies. fashion, right? Mm. <laughs> yeah, who wore it better? <laughs> Stand up, fellows. <laughs> Can't see it in that trench. Um, gosh, I might hold because uh, what I'd want to do is confer with. Uh, so I'm beside you, mm-hmm. Rosie, mm-hmm. and. Um, I, I speak very quickly. We got two options. I, I can. We got a two. We got a two options. <laughs> <laughs> we can. This is a deep ass cut. I love I that. Can, I can uh, throw up hypnotic pattern, but that is not 
going to catch that many of uh -huh. them. Okay. Or we can get everybody in the cave or away, and I'm just going to throw a demon in there. And I'm looking, I'm getting the vial of blood out. I'm like, it, we have other, there are other choices. Yeah, <laughs> but, I got my jar of eyeballs out. I'm like, <laughs> is it time? <laughs> is it time for them? Is there enough blood? Um, I'm uh, plan two, plan B. Let's let's do that one. Let's get these people safe, and then I just I want to see you rock and roll. It's not going to be me doing that work. <laughs> no, I give you credit. You're the manager, you know. Like you develop their, <laughs> develop their career. It's important. Mm -hmm. Delegation is like a, a skill. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a challenge. Yeah. Um, so Rosie will say um, that she's thrown her staff. She's erected this wall. She's she's been screaming, and so her hair is kind of like wild around her face, coming out of the bun. She looks very disheveled, and she says, "I'm going to get the people into the cave. You summon whatever it is you have to." Yeah, because I the last thing I want is for this thing to just start opening houses like like cans. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like like so many Graze boxes. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Graze is our sponsor this week. Uh, oh, they also make prostate massages. <laughs> <laughs> but, but they're not. We, that's not true. We don't have sponsors. Well, we have sponsors, Love but they dice. make dice. Don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> hmm, synergy. Wait a minute. <laughs> so, so Rosie, uh, you are uh, starting to marshal people. Yep. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. And what? Give me this process. Even though they have been trained by me to fight, they've also been trained to listen. And so, oh, yeah, that's part of part of the marshal process is being able to order them around the project management from last episode. So they, um, I am going to get them in ranks, and it's it's not it doesn't sound panicked. It's not. I'm not worried. I'm worried about them because they're squishy. I'm not worried about you guys. You're mm. gonna be fine. But but Rosie is commanding them like a general. Yeah. And she there's no mercy in her voice. And she's like, this is where we're going. Uh, we are. I, I've been on vacation with a grandmother. I mean, I know. Yeah. yeah. I know where the I know where the backstop I've is. I've been up since four. Yeah. Um, and so she's she uh, looks them all. She's she's looking at these like very pathetic ranks. Lots of kids and, and old folks. And she says, um, our, our task is to defend the caves. We are holding out there. They're attacking from above. So that is going to the place, be the place where we are safest. You will go now. Okay. So, so you be, immediately begin marshalling them over. Mm -hmm. And they had begun to distribute themselves from the other bunkhouse. Mm -hmm. Because by this point, uh, the roof of this bunkhouse I mean, the euphemistically, roof, the roof, euphemistically, the roof. but also literally, is on fire, and it has been allowed to burn. Yeah, um, we don't need no water. Well, yeah, I mean, water is plentifully available, but you can't have it. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Denar Blitzen, um, what is your next when uh, maneuver? after Denar took um, uh, ran after Krenar, uh and she's in the cave, be hanging out near the mouth of the cave, trying to slum in. Uh, Clark Moore. Yeah, Slumin? Exactly. Summon. Slumin with Clark I misspoke, Moore. Kate. <laughs> All right? I'm sorry. You know? <laughs> so you can see... <laughs> it. Yeah. It's a, it's a glandular defect. I'm very sensitive about it. But, no. So let's... So no, good. let's stop and talk about it. <laughs> so, no, so... <laughs> so, no, so, you, so you see uh, Rosie coming from the, uh, the center. I, I, I'm assuming that you're using the fortifications to try to you're, you're not you're not you're I mean oh yeah we're darting path? we're yeah, darting this between is, this is going yeah. from here to here the arrows are not so they're, they're coming wild at this point so it's, it's easier. waves exactly yeah. so, so so you so you're at the mouth of the cave you can see her yeah. basically evacuating the village into this place so Dinar would summon Clarkmore I which got, takes 10 minutes I got there well there was 10 minutes of other stuff happening that's right? true you're, yeah. right. You're right. So we'll just say, well, <laughs> well uh, the, the grass stuff and the, the Grimomancy, I mean, he was over there just. I love miss, it. I love it. Miss. <laughs> <laughs> now, as everything's happening, Elk. Clark Moore. <laughs> yeah. Hey! <laughs> it's me! <laughs> no, that's not how he talks. Yeah, what was canonically <laughs> how he spoke? I don't remember. I, know, I never exactly landed like, on a voice. It's exactly like that. So uh, when we're ushering, as I see the, the people being ushered into the cave, um, and I would take Clarkmore over to Sorsha. 
and <laughs> like, like like get her by the rain or by, just like up on yeah, and ride her. Yeah, ride absolutely. him over there. I don't know. It's not that far, right? It's <clears> a, no, it's close. Yeah. I was trying to picture it. Um, and then try to help her over to the cave, not knowing if she's still how wounded she is. <laughs> she it, she looks at the cave and she looks at you and she's like, absolutely not. Kids in there. <laughs> yes, for a reason. Yeah, we'll we'll fight at the mouth. How are you, how are you feeling? You feel fully healed? Hey, you need a top you, off? You guys, can we? I'd love it. I'd love a perception check from you to determine this sort of thing. Your perception is not. I know it's an edge. Oh, oh didn't, mean didn't mean 19. That's, that's quite good. Um, she is, she's on her feet with a combination of just like of valor and like a, a miscalculation perhaps of her ability to retain blood. Can I add yeah. something here? What I like in my head canon is that Dinar rolled, and you rolled a 19, but the reason your roll was so high is because you deeply actually care about <laughs> Sorsha. So you're actually like investigating what's wrong with her and it's trying care-ish. to save her. Exactly. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's like... This is degrees what of care. No, no. This, it's, it's like the meme image where it's like, this is like, like a massive Dinar head whose yeah. brain is glowing. Yes. Yes. Like this is down at the bottom. It's like yeah. he's using his entire yeah. brain. He he think he no. he think he's subtle. This ship will sink. <laughs> right, I'm just gonna give you that heads up now. Don't get attached. Uh, she she says, uh, "I will allow you. Uh, just just let me help you. Would you just let me help you? Uh. Says, I will allow you to take me to the top of this ridge. Um, I uh." Well, so uh, in my um, evaluation, does she look like she's still hurt? Does she need any more she's, healing? She's definitely hurt, but okay. her hurt is at a... Her, her ability to succeed even under those conditions is not like a normal person. I, yeah, I get that she's tough. All right. Yeah. She's real tough. Yeah, look, she's I, real tough. I get, I get it. it. Look, look. We all get it, but I especially get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Uh, she's so like, how's she doing? She's okay. Yeah, she's actually very strong. I know. <laughs> Look, I know. I. <laughs> are you? Who asked you? I'm gonna give her. A, would you like to cast a healing? Yes, spell? I will lay on hands. Young I will man, touch okay. her hand or arm. No, 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 where? <laughs> this is very important. You're gonna lay on no, hands. All right. So I go like this, and I go <laughs> right in her mouth, and I say, t- ten healing. <laughs> just bite it off. Just <laughs> snow. But in dragonborn culture, that is extreme tenderness. This is courting. Yeah. 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 This is phase one of courtship. I'm gonna everything you try to do. Yeah. I'm going to make official lore as to like the courtship rituals of Dragonborn. Yeah. Just to <laughs> All right. So your I life. reach in, I pull out her front tooth. Yeah. And I pull out my front and you tooth. Swap, and I swap them. them. Yeah. Classic. As long as you do it fast. This and then as I, yeah, so but you do it real fast before it can bleed. <laughs> what is actually happening? I touch her hand <laughs> as I help her onto Clarkmore. I will juice her 10 more health points. Exactly. So. And then I will ride her up to the top of the hill as the per red, her request. You're gonna ride her up the top. Yeah, I did. I stutter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I, I Listen, you said the ship wasn't gonna sail, but no whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's whoa. a fucking motorboat. No. You know what I mean? It's intense speed. So, uh, so you you were you were able to you reach out and grab her hand. It's clearly a trick. Like. She is she is granted the healing, and you can tell that she is she tries to make a she tries to uh, be so tough that she doesn't require it mm-hmm. um, uh, or need it. But she only she is only able to eject about half of her refusal. And eventually, she decides it's not a good time investment. Um, but uh, she places her left arm sort of around your midsection. And then you can hear her. You can hear her blade uh, exit the sheath mm. uh, behind you. Uh, and then um, I'll take her up to the top of the hill, like she said. Absolutely. Uh, now it's time to get some initiative. I'm not going to use it for this exact thing, <clears throat> but we're going to want to have it for you very soon. I want advantage on this. You can have advantage, advantage on, on this. initiative. I want. To I'm, go. Not, I'm not questioning you. I would take it, but it's so wasted <laughs> on me. It wouldn't even matter. Sure, you'd roll one and a two. Yeah. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Combine those two. <laughs> you, you, you did roll a one and a two. An 18 and a one. Okay. Very good. Let's take the 18. What do you yeah. say? Uh, what's going on with you, Rosie B. Senior? 12. 
Not bad. Good three strike. I'm a fourteen. I like all of that. Give me that demon. Okay, perfect. Um, <clears throat> so Clark Moore is uh, quite adept at this sort of terrain. Um, he is able to uh, manage his way up this uh, hill, but it is a constant hail of arrows uh, on the way up to this trench. Trench Reznor. Serpentine. Serpentine pattern. Go. Oh, what's, what's your AC? Five. 18. Okay. So you are the, you are the primary face of this operation up here. Yeah. Uh, you catch uh, an arrow uh, oh. in your shoulder in my hand? For, oh. for four. Hmm. Uh, I other, say, <laughs> didn't hurt. Other, other arrows. Give it other kiss. arrows. <laughs> sail, yeah. Other arrows are sailing around. But uh, none of the rest of them come in contact with you. But it's a constant sound. Uh, but as as you uh, as Clarkmore basically uh, clips up, you can hear his uh, you can hear his hoof on the stone wall that uh, that you built it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you you can, you can <coughs> well, hear yeah, his hoof it, right? on it, and you are basically standing in the middle of this trench. Oh, the stone on your, wall is on the southern end of the town of Promise. On your war elk. Oh, was it? Oh, I thought we did them both at the same no, time. No, didn't we? Yeah, because the trench was got we got wall trench. Yeah, I wall. had it on the oh. north side too. Yeah. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Yeah. And there's I one did, on the south. I yeah. need to update my bed. I think it was on the southern. <laughs> the big wall is on the southern side of the. It is. It is. Uh, relative to the trench. Yeah. So, oh. uh, so you were basically in like Clarkmore is now a massive feature uh, in this thing, and looking looking to the left mm-hmm. and right, uh, you can see uh, probably. 12 uh, archers. How far? In the trench? Or yeah. Uh, <coughs> they are all... Im- they archers are all, in the trench? Yeah, they are all immediately around you. Yeah, yeah. yeah they got in. You saw Dummies? Them. But yeah, but... he didn't bother telling any of us. <laughs> so I, oh yeah, I'm up on a wall and no, no, they're no. down in a he, trench? Yeah, he, he, he clipped over the wall. I say, why'd you do that, boy? <laughs> Stay on the other side of the wall. Stay on the safe side. Uh, Alright. Well, then we're just gonna ride through them. Go for nice. it. I'm gonna take my sword out too. Nice. All right. Now you have. Yeah. So I'm swinging on one side. So we're just swinging on the other, and we're galloping through, just weed whacking our way through. The, no. The swing it. You just need to like grab it and just hold the back side and just like leave. <laughs> oh yeah. <coughs> just hold it. The in The Shadow angle. Council. No. Nope. Uh, in their perpetual gleaming wisdom, uh, saw fit to reveal a bit of. Vars Malus lore. Okay. To Dinar. Huh. Just now? So, don't know. It's true. So uh, you have a martial ability in addition to um, your ability to command your draconic entitlement. Mm-hmm. You have an ability called the Wrath of Vars Malus, uh, which allows you to leverage your uh, Dragonborn sword. Uh, in an AOE, like a a wide pattern that strikes Ooh, multiple cool. enemies in a forward cone. So like a like a whirlwind attack? Yeah, basically. It's focused on the front, but it strikes it strikes anyone in front of uh, how far? What's the range, yeah. Uh, the range that the range that they didn't know about this part of it, but the range that we have here is fifteen feet. That's pretty good. So fifteen foot Cone in front. Yep. Hmm. I'm just just because I'm curious. So it's but it's sword based. So am I like throwing the sword? No, or no. You, you like you, emitting an energy. <coughs> I, like, this there is an incredible yes. <sighs> and there's just a force wave yeah. there like a concussive. A, there is a chance we could see this move. You there's a good well, I want to know all about it because uh, I'm about to use yeah, it exactly. <laughs> uh, and then and then all the all the aspects of it will be revealed, but. If there are enemies that are in front of you within a fifteen foot cone, they, they this is going to be one trick they hate. This is good, okay. Good so the, trench warfare. This here. is uh, this is my uh, an, an <coughs> alternate ult. Yeah. Does it cost two? It does. Uh, uh, how so much you, damage does it do? So you hear <laughs> two. You hear uh, you hear Sorsha. You hear her uh, armor uh, buckle and scrape um, as she 
goes off of the back of Clark Moore uh, and starts to walk the opposite way down oh. the trench. <laughs> All right. <laughs> just ambling. Yeah. Just sort of looking at her watch. Yeah. <laughs> Her back to the fight, just like, all right, well, I say, okay. No, this, this trench is full of people on both sides. Well, I feel like being mounted on a steed is still the best place to be, but You're welcome hey, to have this conversation Whatever. I'm ha- this is, I say that to her. <laughs> <coughs> like, under my breath, but still loud enough that she can hear, like, oh, I, thought, I, thought, I would have thought a horse would save her, but whatever. Cool horse. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, star stuff, but whatever. Um, Are we all? I don't know. If you want to make a Clark more, you first must admit the universe. Um, I will use my new power then. <laughs> Might as well. It's right there. Yeah. Give it a try. I want to. Got all these uh, ponies. Got to let's see them gallop. Gallop. Mm-hmm. I'm having gallop. a good day. <laughs> I'm having a you didn't bad even day. have any of the scotch. I know. I know. <laughs> it's sad. That's what it is. At the end of the day, it's just sad. It's, it's just. Sad. I'm just a sad excuse for a boy. <laughs> all right. I do it. Okay. Now, you tell me... You put a lot of the onus on me. I don't even know what this is. You need to be strong. <laughs> now and forever. You're gonna make me with imp- the knowledge. You're gonna make me recite fish facts. No, no, no. There's, there's, right. there's not gonna be any fish facts it's on like this one. It's like the best part of last episode. <laughs> all, I want, all I want from you... Uh? Um, maneuvers of this kind always have a very particular way of setting the blade at first. That's all I'm trying to get from you. Okay. I want your I want your rad anime intro first part. Oh my god. I just want to know how all right. how made, you how you draw. Okay. How all you right. draw and how you place it. And then I'll take it from there. All right. So what if we what if we sauce it this as such? I don't by doing this, but still not losing my, my one vomit ability. Right. So I bring the sword up close, right? Onto my face, and I whisper a, a small prayer to Vars Malus. And as you whisper the prayer down the blade, just a little acid vomit sp- spittles out while you say it. And then when you do the the wave attack, it flicks it out. Oh. Like that's that's the that's the, <coughs> that's the ranged that's, part of it. Yeah. yeah. No, it's like the blade words. Yes, it's right? exactly like that, except it's the blade barfs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hey! Got there. Well, the dog grass are waiting. Fruit. So you, so you uh, bless this. Yeah. Mess. Uh, yeah, you bless this mess. Um, <laughs> and there's a like a, a snort uh, at the end. And when you draw the blade back over your shoulder, I mean, you, and you can see like they're all trying to get ready. The people who are at the end of this trench are uh, they're trying to knock arrows, but. All of their fellows are directly in front of them. Uh, the ones in front are dropping the bow and getting the sword. The people in the bout in the middle, they're not sure a hundred percent. They don't know where they should or go blind is the the euphemistic term. Some of them are going to be both. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. In each other's eyes. 4K no close <laughs> dose. Um, <clears throat> when the blade is set up on the shoulder, um, and you sweep it across, in the wake of it, there is a a brilliant, gleaming copper wing. You can just see the plane of this wing along the strike, and it extends a full 10 feet beyond the end of the blade. And on both sides, the rock walls are sheared in half. And uh, the men in Merrick Sharp's uh, company that he is trying to subdue this, uh, the Sumber Hills with, largely meet a similar fate here in the middle. Mm. Cleave the twain. Nice. And I mm. mark twain. I look, turn back to Sorsha, I go, did you see? <laughs> did you see that? Same word. <laughs> <laughs> eh? Huh? Some of this? Eh? Some of this? <clears throat> uh, so you, you, you turn back, uh, you cut five of them in half. Nice. So it's just this, this massive, uh, destructive plane of force shears two walls on both sides. Yeah, they just they just crumple and fall in the middle of it. Uh, you you want Sorsha to be impressed, uh, but Sorsha is doing her own uh, work on the opposite you side. Want her to I go. Impressed. I go. Eh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. See you, you know. Eh. Eh? 
Now, <clears throat> she's moving, she is basically moving from place to place, just target to target, mm. um, uh, absorbing damage, deflecting damage. Uh, as, as, you, as you turn around trying to get the thumbs up, um, on both sides of you, you can see half of an arrow. Nice. Split uh, and just collapsed farther down the uh, the category. Okay, now we are in real initiative. Oh, you want to do initiative now? For real now. Does that sound roll cool? up? Yes. Oh, are we rolling again? No, no, no. Okay. I, I have all the numbers. I just wanted to have that uh, in my back pocket so I could do the last part like, there. Are you in the midst of a demon summoning ritual right now? Yeah, I'll let you know where I'm at. Yeah, okay. I, I'm not just standing there like. How long does it, how long does it go? <laughs> it's one action. Oh shit! Okay. This buddy's ready to go. No, it, it, it's like in the same way that like it's one action to like pull the chain on a lawnmower, and then it just goes. It takes a while. The chain can give you trouble. Yeah, so, yeah. And it could is, be a couple actions. This is the first time he's ever summoned a greater demon. Yeah. This is bad news, and I, you know, yeah, really usually, usually, you, usually you talk to your dungeon master before you take a spell like this. <laughs> I think I did mention it. Are you gonna uh, summon this in the trench that I'm in? Well, this is what's now It'll be changing there eventually. my. It's like I see you going across. You're just gonna like, I've made my way. Ladle, 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 oh. drinking your vial of blood. I don't have to drink. Uh, it's a little bit for me, a little bit for the demon. <laughs> you just split it. You split it in half. You can uh, get on the party line. Walnut Dawngrass. Oh, thank uh, you. Heir of the Enclave Panasonoma. Thank you. Uh, took how, that, I took that advantage for nothing. <laughs> how, how, will you, how will you increase joy? Um, so looking around, I see these thatch roofs starting to Yeah, burn. right right now it's right now it's primarily fixed on the left side. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it, it's spreading fast and then as is the way this the town itself is kind of in a valley between hills. Mm -hmm. And so the air, the night breeze, is just night. being is being put to its work. So, what I want to do, and I see everyone is gone. Like I, all the towns. When I turn around from the plants, so I this I was whispering to the plants. I turn around, everyone's gone. The, all the townspeople are gone, and I can see not much in the distance. My dark vision doesn't go that far, so I don't even know if I can see what you're doing over there. But I see all this fire, um, and so I'll cast Watery Sphere, Ooh, which is mm -hmm. a 10-foot radius, um, and is normally spell. a great spell to use against foes, which is what I wanted it for, because it can restrain people. Nice. Ooh, oh, nice. and a water prison. Mm -hmm. It's like that episode in Rudo. I was going to say, like, Rudo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but instead, I can move it 30 feet. Um, so I will summon it and start using it to douse the roof fires. Nice. Don't fuck with druids. Dude, that is the so kick ass. Like moving ball Wait, so, I mean, how, how big? How big is it? So we, we can ten picture foot radius. it. Jesus. That's a radius? Yeah, ten 20 foot, foot across. Radius. How long does it stick around? Um, it can stick around for the oh, the range is ninety feet. Um, wow. One minute. Wow. Oh, okay. That's great. Absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> so, tell, so how is she guiding it around? Like straight up Dumbledore. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like moving so, it like, so, like but, but, so very. Waterbending. Meticulous, yeah. like, like slow. Yeah, like rolling it over everything, making sure everything's choked out, and then moving to the next. Absolutely, yeah. So you basically, uh, you're there. This this hot wind is <laughs> whipping your hair around, and then it starts out. It starts out just the, the size of a berry, um, and then okay. immediately in a moment expands. Um, so are, are you going to apply it? Uh, are you, are you going to like pre-soak? Oh, am I gonna preset? Yeah, I mean, if I got through all the fire, then no, I mean I'll definitely because right now with this, with your twenty foot water ball, <laughs> that's a town. <laughs> that's <laughs> the whole town. Good. Yeah. I'm so saying, then so I'll start. So, so what's your intention? What is your what is your intention with my water orb? Um. So douse the fire, <laughs> and then uh, I'll start moving it to the roofs that have not been doused, and just start. Wetting everything. <laughs> I'm just gonna moisten the whole <laughs> town. Moisten the world. Yep. Uh, you guys got flood insurance? Because <laughs> Chris Traub. <laughs> oh, drench warfare. That's, oh. yeah. that's a good one. Wow. See, that's, see, that's, that's it. That's good cool. for you. I just, no. Shadow Council, like this is the level <laughs> of execution you get from the, the CT. Uh, pun, one action. The so C stands I'm for great. Complete. He yells at everyone else when they make puns, by yeah. the way. Because mine are good. <laughs> Everybody else is the They're best. not puns. <laughs> Delete the show.
you know, minor ideas, <laughs> true concepts to, no. to dissect, and consider. You exactly. I, I, I can't wait. I am honestly, genuinely excited to hear how you put this together. Yeah, let's hear it. Oh, a demon? Oh, yeah. A summon one? I have some, I've given it some thought. So, um, <clears throat> so what are you summoning to? Well, now, here's the thing. <coughs> we could have worked this out, too, but if you want that uh, data... Yeah, I've, I've got I'm going to need it. You need that. But um, I don't know if Kathris is adept at like selecting what you get. I have one that he's I'll got the, He's got the catalog. He has, yeah, he, he hmm. knows what we're talking about. Uh, does he have... It's like a kid at Christmas going through the Sears. Yeah, like, I want that. Yeah, I want that. Does he have a spring that? catalog? Get you like an Arcana loss up in there. Mm. The Yawk loss. Yeah, now we're talking about challenge. Oh yeah, rating, very, very appropriate. Uh, what is this? Is it five? And Do we need a player's handbook for this? CR five and and beneath. No, I'm oh, monster they're, man. They're looking yeah. for the specific beasts. Mm -hmm. Looking for a beast. A beast. No, company. here I'm going to tell you right now, just because, and this is specifically oh. chosen because Rosie might be able to do something with it. Is a shadow demon. Okay. Oh yeah. Because you, you if you something goes boy? off the rails, Ugh. maybe get a little extra play. <laughs> Yuck. Yeah. For the for the enjoyment of the shadow Gross. council. I don't know. Which, Can we just stick it in there. The yeah, shadow check council. This, check this it's nasty basically their monster demon. out. That's what you your think demon about it. Right it is. There. It's your demon. This is what you look like. Hmm? You're not cute. Before I do this, I want to <laughs> understand the lay of the land. At we got land? you put a road. No. You put a road to the east. Where where are we aware of bandits coming from? I know we right, got a right now the, the main that you know, you know that arrows have come from the east. Okay. And you know that this trench. Uh, uh, up on the hill, definitely has foes as well. Right now, we got some that's buddies too. Let's that's that unlock. That's your that unlock. that's your level of awareness. Okay, and you've got the south, so I'm not I'm not doing anything. Yeah, like but that. I'm not <coughs> doing much right now. But okay, it's okay. Thank you for that faith. I'm cute. You, wow, you have it. Well, that would be touched if she could okay, know that what's going on. Put a water demon in that river. Sister, make, never then they can't come from no, the west. Put one in this guy. Like, no, I don't like him. I don't like I don't like uh, monkeys. <laughs> it's not interesting to me. <laughs> Fair. Exactly. Uh, so, okay, so, so, so do you have the do you have the the spell? I will look, I will let you read it and I will express it. No, to I you. Mean, it's important for them to know exactly what you're doing as well. Yes. Yeah. Fourth, fourth level conjuration. One action, sixty feet. Mm -hmm. Vs and M. Mm -hmm. Eat them all. I need yeah. that sweet mayor's blood. <gasps> That's what I keep. I got some of that. That's what I the got, material components is. I got a vial or two of that. Blood. Uh, and then concentration up to a full hour lasts longer. Nice. Than talk to your doctor. Uh, <laughs> utter foul Has words. Has your demon been substantiated for longer than an hour? <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be a better way. Uh, you choose the demon's Where's type. The soda? Yeah. Uh, demon appears in an unoccupied space. <laughs> Leg man. I mean, I don't... anything you want. Uh, appears in an unoccupied space. You can see within range. Demon disappears when it drops to zero hit points or when the spell ends. Up to an hour, or yeah. I stop concentrating. Uh, roll initiative for the demon has its own turns. When you summon it, and on each of your turns after, you can command it. Uh, if you issue no command, it spends its turn attacking any creature within reach that has attacked it. At the end of each of its turns, it must make a charisma saving throw. Oh, no. It has disadvantage on this throw if you say its true name. I don't think I don't know that Cuthris knows that. He doesn't know that. On a failed save, it continues to obey me. On a successful save. The demon my control ends for the rest of the duration, and it attacks whatever it feels like attacking. Oh God! What could go wrong? <laughs> Most of don't it. put that in the trench. <laughs> An uncontrolled demon doesn't disappear for one d six rounds if it still has hit points. Wow! So it's just loose and free. <clears throat> cool. And, like how many, like, and, and how many Rosie, hit points? Help me with this. How many oh. hit points does this bad boy have? Well, this particular 66. boy has sixty six. He's a big boy. Do you want this? this you might need that. Uh, well, no, we'll, we'll let him. You want to we'll, run we'll, it? Yeah, can, we'll, we'll let I'll, him drive it. I'll adjudicate. Yeah. Okay. Um, and as part of casting the spell, I can uh, circle the ground with that delicious blood. Uh, it, it well, it's large enough con to encompass my space, and I can create a space that the demon will not trespass oh, in. Okay. I could also summon it into a circle if I just wanted it to be my friend look or at talk it. like yes. hang out on the bus with it. Yeah. yeah. Or you can like, you make like home base. circle a room and leave yeah. it in their room and just have it maul everything in there. Oh, yeah. It can never leave. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so that's basically all well, you need to know. So Absolutely. Great. So tell me so tell me about the this will only end well. So where are you where are you pouring this out? <laughs> I okay first of all Kathris is not gonna make a circle. Mm -mm. He's and there's not enough. But he doesn't to, respect the circle as no, an icon. Anyway. He starts to 
think about it and the blood is pouring, but then he just draws sort of a line a little bit back from your uh, star wall. Okay. Uh, so if they do breach the wall, it's going to, oh. they'll greet them. Yeah. It's just going to hang out. Nice. Also, I can command it unless I lose. Wait, so you're summoning it into the circle? No, no, no. Um, I just, I just draw a line. Maybe oh. that'll put it. It'll like trip it up briefly. Oh, I see. <laughs> it's I see. like, ooh, blood. How big is the circle? Oh no, it just a line. It just stops. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, I don't think that's it doesn't work that way at all. Bless you. He's Bless. never done it before. No, that's we true. have to know. He's only read about it. We have to test it to understand it. So uh, I shove away those thoughts of that that shiny sun. Who cares? Why is no. it even in there? Yeah, it's distracting. I gotta focus up on my demons. Uh, and I, I start to uh, issue a call, uh, just like speaking to places unknown. Uh, sorry, hello. Uh, I'm look. I need a. Uh, I'm looking for a greater demon. Uh, I'm trying to find. A sh- and just starts to come out. I don't understand how it's coming. Out. And, my, and I'm and I'm gesturing in ways that I I have not done before. A little smile oh starts to spread because, like, this is some muscle memory is <laughs> is doing the rest of the work. Wow. And I want to put that demon right, right across that line for safety. <laughs> <laughs> but I've convinced myself is is going to keep me. Here's okay. all you got to do: you get on one side <clears throat> of the line, he tries to go around, you jump over the other side of the line. So you've <laughs> got to keep going around. He'll never get you. We can do this all day. A <laughs> couple rounds of this. Yeah. Forget about it. Dude, he's going to be down on his, he's gonna be down on his knees. <sighs> oh, God. <laughs> Free me. <laughs> I'm <Master>. amazing. <laughs> oh, he only speaks abyssal and telepathy, so. It's okay. He's got 120 feet of telepathy. Mm-hmm. Fruit by the foot. Um, For you, not them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, gushers. Yeah, I want, I want that shadow demon. And I imagine that it is like a, gosh, maybe it because it's shadow and it's right next to your wall. Yeah, exactly. Use of the wall. Ooh, it comes out of it. It maybe? steps through. Ooh. Or I guess is it is it like have like a ghost tail? Hell yeah. Like it's incorporeal as it as it goes out. So yeah, it should, then I imagine it. Yeah, approaches. that that's how it that's how it should be. So as I, I, I you uh, as you commit fully to these authentically nefarious gesticulations that the, the, is an evil dance that comes from somewhere else um, you you can feel the expenditure of the energy but you don't think you don't think that it worked mm. you what? it seems like something would have come through mm-hmm. uh, and then against this star field wall of rosies you just see two eyes burn. I'm a little bit startled, but I'm very excited. <clears throat> so you just created a friend. It looks like, yeah, exactly. Like this is, you've just been waiting to be the right level uh, to summon friends from beyond. <laughs> right. From an e- a truly evil place. I don't need any of No, no, no. a new friend. <laughs> it, it start, it, the two eyes are there, and then it just continues to shed light and shed light and shed light until its actual shape, which is something like a, a bat, just the top part of a bat. The only way to describe it would be to like dip into some Lovecraftian stuff. You have to describe it as a um, a commingling of other natural things. Right. I like the idea of when he is coming out, when it is coming out of the star. You can you see the burning eyes, but the only other way you can tell its shape is because the starlight is they shift. obscured. They, yeah, 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 they just yeah. warp. Like the, right. He, he's he's so opaque that the the lights. Like you can see their it's like gravitational lensing. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <clears throat> Very uh, cool. And then so the the eyes uh, are there, and then you can just see this crack of light below it. And then when it falls open, it's exactly the same color uh, as the eyes. <clears throat> and it says, "I greet you, warlock. I am the grave of men." Oh, friend. Shall sup this day, <laughs> uh, Rosie Beestinger. What? Do you have any cool shit to do, or? Uh, 
Maybe I not. Spend my turn admiring <laughs> <laughs> this great shadow boy. <laughs> so good. Uh, are all the people in the mine? Yeah, yeah. They are. They, there was like a couple stragglers. A very, very brief glance. Okay. Uh, little spring in their step. Yeah. Good. Okay. So everybody's safe. Uh, yeah, the burlap lady is making sure nobody gets in too deep. She's waving that sack around. Uh, Rosie then, she doesn't have her staff. So um, she is, she's got the ability to do some more grandmancy if the, if the <coughs> occasion would call for it. But um, I think what Rosie would do is, is hold on to it just in case shadow is needed to confine this unpredictable monster. Um, oh, she wants to have that. She wants to have that in her back pocket. Yeah, yeah. We, I've got plenty of charges, but I, I just want to make sure. Um, so, you think something's gonna go wrong, or uh, worry about? Yeah, this? <laughs> is that a vote of confidence? I do, but that's kind of why I wanted you to do it in the first place. <laughs> um, yeah, I think Rosie's just gonna hold and defend the mouth of this cavern. Um, and that, that kicks ass. Yeah, trust me, we're gonna, we're gonna be doing this stuff for a while. You'll have yeah. an opportunity. Years. Okay. Yeah. Mm, great. There's gonna be some hot shit. Denar Blitz in. Um, uh, you are situated uh, in this trench. Yep. Uh, before you, there are perhaps seven more uh, archers doing their absolute level best. Okay. Um, what's uh, see after after having seen <laughs> what was there? What's uh, uh, Sorsha doing? Yeah, you. Yeah. Uh, she is. Moving in her direction as you uh, engage with with this, you want she to call out to her. No, she doesn't look like she's being overwhelmed or anything. No, no, okay. no. You, you have you haven't seen anything like that yet. Okay. Um, so there's how many in front of me? Seven. They about fifteen feet away. <laughs> <coughs> you can about in a cone shape. Give or take. Yeah. <laughs> you can move closer, and you can. You well, can do I have to? I'm saying how close are they? All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because these guys, everybody who is in was in fifteen yeah, feet is now dead. Front. Yeah. Uh, well, it, it depends on how you think of it. There's either twice as many of them, or they're all dead. Yeah. Um, all right. I I yelled a source. I go, watch me this time. <laughs> Mom, watch. And then I <laughs> watch I this trot time. a little <laughs> farther up, <laughs> and as I'm trotting up, I'll hold oh, the blade again. <clears throat> no, they're they are now like, they're jumping up. On each other, yeah. Well, then I uh, trying to then trying I to get faster. Trying I, I know, to, no, no, you don't. <laughs> trying to get to the top of the walls, like there. It's like um, rats trying to flee a ship. Yeah. Uh, well, then I pick up the paint so they can't get away, and then hold the sword, and uh, we'll, we'll say he's holding the the newer sword, the sword the Sorsha got. Oh, you see the switch it. As he says his little prayer Ooh. up along the blade, and the little acids dribbling out. It's like. Lighting up the rooms in it, little, oh, little they light it <coughs> green. Yeah, nice. they just like just a little, just a little bit dribbling out. Mm. It's a very uh, acidic prayer. That yeah, he whispers his prayer to How's it. How's the weight different from yours? Is it a, is it technically a better sword? Are you like mad about it? No, I think it's the same <laughs> <laughs> in every way, but stats. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Okay, it's such a, but in terms of decor, he's not wrong. Like it's. Deeply in, inscribed. This is a lovingly made instrument. Yeah, this one's um, got runes. It's lovingly made. Yeah, up yeah. and down it. Um, so, but handles the same. More wrath. Yeah. Let's uh, do it to it. Mm-hmm. <coughs> so Second you can burst same as the first. So you said that blade. Now tell me about the tell me about the angle and direction of this strike. Where are they? Uh, so that, like I say, I mean they are jumping on. T- they're crushing each other trying to get out of this. Yeah. Like they, they, they going have up. just seen it. Some are trying to get up and out. Then at uh, at a somewhat slanted 60 degree angle. Like try to whip that wave. So, so start start low. Start low. Low and, and left. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so like <coughs> that. Amy's <laughs> <laughs> cut in half. Yeah. Um, so so Who you, the fuck is Amy? Exactly. So you set Thank you. you set the blade, tilt, yep. and bring it up and this time, uh, just f- starting in the earth, there is a, a peeling roar that peeling banana that accompanies this uh, flash of light that goes up through through men, 
Uh, and indeed through the wall and the earth so that uh, as you cut through uh, the last few of these uh, archers, the ground itself just sloughs off. Mm. It just falls down in a pile over the men that have been destroyed. Nice. Yeah. Dinar is very, very <coughs> proud of himself. <laughs> He's done a lot of murder today. Yeah. Every time he does this, he always goes, "Blessed is his name." <laughs> Ooh, very nice. Is he like checking to make sure Sorsha's watching? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And is afterwards, she watching? is she watching? Yeah, is she watching? Is she watching? Does she see that one? She is. Eh. Uh, and and you you see you see someone raise a sword uh, behind her and run toward her, and then uh, they just fall down and she pulls her blade out, <laughs> puts it like this. So uh, the person- just one. <laughs> What about this? Yeah, uh, like five. <laughs> so, um, to the east of the city, uh, you can hear the rumble of hooves um, outside the wall proper. Um, and at the at the announcement of these hooves, uh, grave of men is starting to like snort and sniff. Grave of Men is literally his name? Yeah. Oh, hmm. He didn't say I'm the Grave you. of Men. Yeah. He said I'm Grave of Men. Oh, I love you. Hyphens? <coughs> oh. oh yeah. Apostrophes. Oh yeah, Apostrophes. all animals and all Grave. demons. They have so, uh, um, yeah. so he's just like snorting and uh, pawing and scratching at the uh, at the wall. Um, so from that from that the east of the wall because it's impossible for us to see from here out. Right. We just know that they are on their way. Mm-hmm. Um, now it's time for the uh, the Grave of Men. Is there any way for him to get out of this wall? I mean, how solid is it? Well, he's been summoned forth, and I believe he's fully formed. He's just on the other side of the blood. The wall of, of, of that trail, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, they, he... he could ostensibly just move away from us and go toward the road. He just, at this point... And yeah, technically, I think probably the unbroken circle is actually the thing that he can't tra- oh, traverse. Hold on a second. So he's got a speed of 30 feet, but he can fly also 30 feet. Oh, yeah. Feet. So yeah. he's good to go. How high is this wall? Uh, well, I, I think he can just pass through it. Yeah, that's, that's, because it's a uh, medium that he is in, indeed intimate with, uh, my suspicion is that it's not actually a barrier to I don't him, think actually. Cares. Yeah, yeah I, think, I think it poses no threat. You, cool. may, you may eat all that intend me harm. That's my. This is my directive. <clears throat> he's, he's, and him. then, so uh, he, the light uh, of his features sort of disappears against the star field, and then, in an instant, he sort of flings himself forward through uh, this medium, and he slows as he's in it, and then he's launched forward. Uh, through it, but seeing exactly what he'd be doing on the other side would be challenging. Right now, you'll mostly have to use your ears, I suspect. Walnut dawn grass. Happy to. Mm. <laughs> um, keeping it damp. Keeping it damp. Um, I don't hear those horses coming, right? That you can feel them in the ground. Uh, but they're coming from the east. They're coming like? from the east. The road, yeah. Oh, so demons got that on long. Yeah. Hopefully. So. Um. Do I can I do a perception roll and see if I see anyone coming from the south? I'm I'm all about this. Yeah, absolutely. We're well, also underserved on the west. It's a river. No, but ah, sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, a, a twenty. <clears throat> That's quite good. Uh, you can see, um, in the just in the wave here, it's apparent when someone is trying to traverse it. Mm. It is obvious. You can see at least five. Uh-oh. Um, at least five. Mm. Great. How how do you want to ruin a day? Whose day do I want to ruin today? Somebody's. Anybody. In the grass. Oh. Yeah, they're all, they're all did you find something good? <laughs> you find I, something tasty? I did. Um, okay. Grass to blades. 
<laughs> so it's a three D ten plus one D ten. Oh no, like it's just three D ten. Um okay, so I will drop my watery sphere having moistened some of the houses. <laughs> where do you um, deposit it? Where do I deposit it? Yeah. Um I'll just drop it off like in the middle of town. Okay. Just make it sloshy. You, you just like let it go. Yeah, I just kind of like I'm like. Nip. Everyone um, comes back to their houses. They're like, glad we're safe, but our hardwood floors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this water damage. All of our documents. Um, all the documents. All the documents. Um, I will use call lightning, which is a sixty foot radius, ten foot cloud. <laughs> is that all? Um, oh. Within a hundred feet of me, and it's three d ten. Which one's d ten? It's of, multiple uh, targets. This boy. Of orbs of things. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's awesome. It says it's a 60 foot radius, 10 foot cloud. So. AoE. Yeah. AOE, yeah. Definitely. Um, so you're going to situate it over these crawlers? Yes. Uh, and see what I do. One. One. What? Seven. Seven. So nine damage of possible 30. <sighs> But you did it to a bunch of people. Yep. And it I say, awesome. and I there say, are yeah. I say, and I, uh, I say, and there's more where that came from. <laughs> it's just a warning shot across the bow. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. That's I just want to scare them. I just want them to know I'm here. And they know my name. Yes. <laughs> get, get zapped, you bugs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey. Christmas trap. Gosh, what do I need to do? I'm just relaxing. I'm real curious about what's on the other side of that. But wall. This is an incredible opportunity for you then. Um, in so, as far as I know, I don't think I could see up and into the trench or what's going on up there. It sounds. It'd be, it'd be hard. You, yeah. you hear well. You hear things. It sounds like a a lot of vomiting and swords. <laughs> and given that they're archers, I feel like that's a good thing. Yeah. yeah. It's not theirs. Um, it could be they're vomiting though. Yeah. Where are you? At? I'm at the mouth of the cave. Okay, so you're at the cave. Um, I, let's just go whole, ho so everybody's up there except for you. I'm going to come down to the, uh, to the southern edge, uh, the field. Yeah, um, so you, you basically come shoulder to shoulder with walnut dog grass. Yeah. Uh, out over this uh, silvery sea of grass, you can see um, the last wisps of a, Cloud. Oh wait, yeah, okay. Static okay. crackling I, in the air. And yeah, uh, smell of ozone. I'm I'm trying to be very um, serious, but I I'm like I made a demon. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm so too excited. I go a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on who you ask. <laughs> good is relative. Yeah. <laughs> it's not really a worthwhile concept. <laughs> is it here to help us? Yeah. <laughs> what is help? Oh, okay. All these abstract it's concepts. Us. That's a very, it's a very mortal idea. How did your philosophical lectures today, Walnut? Yeah. Well, <laughs> you tried. Uh, and then I point out across the grass. So I don't know if you can see it. And I go, um, there's five here. Anything you can do to help? Gosh. So, uh, so you basically have to concentrate to yeah. maintain this oh, so you the can't. control over. Yeah. yeah, that's right. So you can't help. So you yeah. can, can talk to a walnut. No, he can. <laughs> Sorry, you're yeah. the dungeon master. No, no yeah, you, you tell me. I've never really cast any other spells as long as they're not concentration. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh. one concentration spell. Yes, there you go. exactly. So be oh. careful about that. Yeah, uh, that's good to know. A lot of the good stuff I got is sadly. right. That's what I recall. Yeah, and I don't think I have anything that's like a zone, which is what I would love to do. What about zone? Kadar? That's concentration. Ah, shit. Yeah. Uh, you, really, you really got to think about those milky tentacles. Like, yeah. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> you, <laughs> you know, know what? Yeah. What's some um, stuff in the grass? Okay. <laughs> yeah, Sounds can't. like a real walnut just, problem. Just water back. You, know, you need anything to drink? Should I get <laughs> just got some blood. I can make a sandwich or something. Are you hungry? Is anyone hungry? Yeah. 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 How are you? <laughs> That's, That's very good. Throw yeah. Is it, is, so if nothing is visible, then uh, yeah, then there's really nothing else I can. That I would want to do. Could you whip? Yeah, I mean, I could do like a like an easy one. If something's visible, I would like to like let's 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 harass somebody. Let's beat them up. Yeah. Let's rough them up. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, then that's what I'm asking for. Who, who can I see? Anything? Uh, There's just grass wait, that's wait, folded. You, well, no, you can you can see like um, it's obvious where they are at in this in this like tightly knotted grass. Okay, they can't pass through it without it being like comically obvious. No grass pass. No thanks. No pass. Oh, gross. So let me do this then. Um, I've been a while since I did a, a tentacle lash. It's been a while. And they never work, <laughs> as we well no. know. Um, <laughs> why, would it, why would they start today? Whips and They'll any... never start. Yeah, I got I a demon we've had one successful whip. We yeah. haven't. Not really. Like in two years. No. Yeah, exactly. It's been a long time. So let's see. So any one of them that I'm, any spot that I, yeah. that, to my best of my knowledge, contains a, a buddy. Yeah, contains a bandit. I want to see if I can pull him. How far away are they? Out here. Yeah, it's probably about twenty feet away. Yeah, it's further than I can. Yeah, I can lash. You can't whip him. All right. This is pretty. So you, you spend a lot of time thinking get, about the things you could do. There's so many things in D and D that you can do. <laughs> but then not do any of them. And like the idea that there's like moving lumps in the grass and, and you're it's... like, and sit, a cute bunny. <laughs> and like, <laughs> and like, oh, adorable fox. The one that wasn't. Yeah. It's like, it's like a cowering old man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. The dude with a shirt that says innocent bystander. Yeah. Yes. I can start a fire. <laughs> I can just light the field on fire. Is this like wheat stuff they want to eat later or just grass? These are just, it's just a, a rolling. Plain of grass south of the town. We just spent it. She just spent a turn putting fires no. out. Yeah, I, I like. I like this. And I go. Not this time. The water yeah. ball. You had a water ball. That was it. And you now were, it's gone. You're chaotic neutral. <laughs> I'm chaotic neutral, but don't play it quite that way. I made a demon. You've said that a few times. That's now. my chaotic <laughs> basis. So that's your whole turn as you come over and you brag about your demon. Okay. But, but you know it's what? A cool the, demon. You can well. come. You can command the demon. He says supportive things to Mona too. Yeah. Hey, you can. You're allowed to talk to the demon. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Well, no. This I, is what I'm. And that's what you should do. He's good though. I Communication thought. is key. It's it's everything. It's the it bedrock is. of a good relationship. Eat the horses. I wonder if it's invisible only. <laughs> well, not, no, no, no. He's he's, he's telepathic. Mona wants you to eat the horses. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you summon a demon, tell it to stop those horses. Ooh. Oh, not you. You're you are a grave of men. <laughs> but tell me. <laughs> 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 Do any other larger mammals appeal? <laughs> what of equine? I know not. <laughs> of your <laughs> Oh my god. I love he's talking to grave of men yeah, exactly. exactly the way grave of men talks. Yeah, exactly. Oh. He, he, you, he has to line himself up. It's he a has to like orient. Yeah. It's a politeness. It's yes and. It's yes and. It's like, <laughs> at the end of the day. It's like when he goes down south and like adopts a southern Suddenly accent. Suddenly you're like, hey y'all. Within like five minutes, yeah. <laughs> it's it's no time. Ireland. Right you leave the fucking airport. Yeah. How's the horse meat on the other side of that shadow? That's sort of how I'm going to put it. <laughs> That's more good for us. He says, I am... Delighted to discover. Oh my god. Uh, so, but you are going to be in control of Grave. I'll, I'll do the... Um, oh, okay. Uh, I'll do any dialogue that's required. Sure. But you choose what you, how you want him to do it, and I'll tell you what he sees out there. All right, yeah, so he is... So he has, he has projected himself through this solid shadow medium, lensed himself out, launched as though from a cannon uh, on the opposite side of it. Um, and in front of him, he sees no less than ten riders. Ooh, mamma mia. Uh, I don't know that he's got... <laughs> you gotta say it. <laughs> it's a different quote. <laughs> I don't have to do it your way. Uh, he doesn't seem to have any... He doesn't have any, um, like, area stuff. But how are these, how are these riders lined up? So just, maybe we can trip up the first just one. A, just a, a line. Like, they are riding... Oh, that's foolish of them. Uh, I'm very excited to hear that. Uh, not not front to back, like a wide sort of a phalanx type. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Could, is there anything I could do to confer advantage on his attack roll? If you want to use if you want to use Kithris's advantage, that's okay. Oh, I, he would love to. Thank you. Uh, a significant difference. <laughs> so he's going to go ahead and just do a classic, just a traditional shadow demon claw uh, <coughs> melee just attack. Bog standard. You it's know a great what? Claw. Yeah, tried and true. Uh, let's see. Plus five to hit. Reach of five feet. Yeah, so he's got to approach the first rider, slash at him, 
How do we do that? I'm not a melee guy. How does that work? You want to do what? He it's it, it, luckily uh, hit. it's all right there in the block. Well, yeah, yeah, so you roll d20. That's five to hit. I will. Let's try. Then he's let's Let take me teach advantage you the ways of it. Of melee. I was just gonna say. <laughs> listen, I need to understand. Baby wizard, no more. Well, this motherfucker is in also, Lord and Kynan's tomb of tomb of foes. That's true. I Rosie, all she do is hit. So <laughs> no matter what, so, so, take advantage. so advantage is taken. Nice. So okay. that's going to be a, a seventeen, and this one. Will- oh! Oh! Oh. Womp, 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 womp. Grave of uh, men. I was, I was, I was, I was just going to say, oh, say the grave of men. Shadow Council, indeed, a creature of your own native plane. Your humble servant's uh, servant. <laughs> <laughs> indeed, uh, all the way down. We keep delivering that uh, incredible product. Uh, what's the what's the first way? Is it these two goblin gallstones? Oh yeah, that past. I found here. Uh, terrifying to look at. Even more terrifying uh, on your home table. Uh, thanks, level up. We will get those shipped out to you. Uh, now, <clears throat> this is absolutely the case. So they, so uh, Grave of Men looks on this onrushing phalanx uh, with curiosity mm. and delight. Four of those. Yeah, it's a lot. Uh, by the way, he is. Uh, striking at the horse, not at the mm-hmm. not at the mm-hmm. madness. And he does forty six plus three damage. Oh what a fucking God. asshole! Yeah. That's psychic it's damage. Shit. That horse is gonna be insane. Is it psychic? <laughs> it's psychic. A, it's psychic yeah. damage. Even with a claw. What we got here? Yeah. Nine. That's gonna be a four, fourteen. Yes, fourteen, plus, 14 three. plus three. Seventeen on that horse. So uh, he he's. Never seen anything quite like this before. The horse, and he is delighted. Any of this? Oh, oh, grave of men. Great this man. is all. This is all new. A horse can be a man. <laughs> too. Exactly. <laughs> There's nothing specifically in the rules. No, that no. He gets. He gets out his shadow document. Mm. <laughs> no, it's like a self-empowering. Like, what if I could be a grave for more than a man? Yeah, exactly. You know, it, it's it, it's like it's like you know. At this point in my career. Uh, <clears throat> he draws his hand back behind him and sweeps it forward and just like when he began to pass through the solid lensing medium of the shadow, he just drags his hand through the horse from, from the front to the back mm. and then the claw on the outside catches the strap oh, God. <laughs> that holds the saddle. Yeah. And so he just brings it forward, clips straight through it, and the rider falls directly off of the back onto his own back on the ground uh, in front of a uh, grave of men um, who looks upon him with keen interest. Mm. Shadow Council, Mayor oh. Labors, please you. Uh, it, all of a sudden, I was not aware of it, but I guess it's time for the break. Yeah. So we're going to do the break, and then we're going to come back, and then it's going to be more C team. You'll see. You'll see. Uh, you can hold me to this. Um, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Ooh, mama! <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm Jeffrey K. Harkin. And welcome back to the Test C teams. Um, <laughs> the Ryan Show. I hope you all enjoy it. I didn't Who's say Ryan? <laughs> exactly. Who's Ryan? Exactly, Amy. What? Um, Sitting here like a sweet good boy. I'm not hurting nobody. <laughs> my, my I ain't hurting nobody. <laughs> here now, walnut, don, don grass. So close. You are. I'm punching you. For a <laughs> I'm punching you. Walnut don grass. Yeah. Uh, tell me what happens next. Isn't it Rosie's turn? I haven't gone in several rounds. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> no, that, that's not true. This, this is. Oh, no, it was Katharsis' turn. There we go. There we go. Bring yeah, it back I'm, in. I'm so you mean to just you mean tag in? Be here. That was weird, weird <laughs> for me because I was like, I'm not prepared. I'm <laughs> always prepared for yeah. what happened. No, I was wrong. Uh, it is. It, it, I got. I got fucked up because of where uh, Graves is. Because of Umama. No, uh, Rosie. Rosie Bistinje. <laughs> uh, uh, first of all, what? I I need a perception roll. Yes, yeah, so you can see all the people coming from the west. Twelve. Yeah. Twelve. Yeah. That's not gonna do it. And water vision? Um, I mean, there's nothing there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you get asked for perception, there's never anything there. No, there isn't. I just, I just, I just want to make, I just want to give you an opportunity. I know that rolling's fun. And, um, is, that my, is that my whole turn? Yeah, you're done. Yeah. Bye. Um, Bye. It's, uh, you're done with the game, actually. Leave. So, uh, no, no, no. It's, it, is, it is not Rosie B. Singer's turn. Okay. How far away am I from these 
Uh, these shapes. goings, these goings on. I mean, I'm at the mouth. These, these, dude, these shapes are fucking gone from you. Like they're literally on the other side of the village. Like you're at the north end of the village. <sighs> oh and yeah, they're at the, the south, south end. That's right. That's right. Mm. Um, so we take we take you a turn to get over there. If I look at that's what you think. Yeah, oh, there, it's how big is the village? Fast. It's not like Manhattan. 10, 15 feet long. Pretty <laughs> sure. How um, much could it cost? Yeah. $20? It's, it's, <laughs> it's a three, banana. It's three apples tall. <laughs> uh, how long is the village, though, for real? I have the map. 60 feet. 60 feet. Uh, well, yes, that would take my whole turn. That's what I mean. So, what I will do instead... Wait a second. <gasps> Maybe it won't take my whole turn. Why am I not? My speed is 40 feet, and what I was going to do is um, teleport Shadow Step into Ooh. the field, which is another 60 feet. Dude, this is going to be anime as shit. Yeah. Nice. A bit anime. Uh, so uh, there is a running little feet, and then <clears throat> silence. She gets to about the, the halfway or so through the village, and, and then <laughs> in the field. I love it. And... Uh, She's going to, Shadow Step is a bonus action, so I actually can still attack. This is great. Now, um, do you, are you going to try, are you going to get your rod? Or are no. you just going to punch the shit out of a, these people? No, the, the rod is serving a very important purpose right now, so I'm just going to go with my, with my uh, fists. No, Grandma Mancy, not required. I mean, the rod not required to use Grandma Mancy, just for your own. Oh, good. You okay. know what I mean? Like, yeah. I it, it's, it's, required to, it's required to manufacture. Right. A battlements, yes. but Grandma Mancy can still be used. Okay. Um, it isn't like a concentration type thing. Okay. So you, so you pop out there in the middle of this. Yeah. Right. So you, so now you are, I mean, it's just like your shoulders. Yeah. And little bun. Yeah. Uh, sort of like bobbing, like a message in a bottle through this. Yeah. Uh, through this this uh, grass. And I want to I want to approach no, one of these. Uh, no, 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 I was going to say as, as as you are there, like physically. Once you are once you are there, the they stand up. Did they notice me? Oh, absolutely! Like now, now there's another Russell out there. Thank there's a God. Russell. There's a Russell Wilson. Yeah. Um, uh, but basically, so each of them just sort of like stands up in this in this pattern. All right, uh, and they see me. They do. So then, uh, Rosie says. She says something really dumb, but she's excited. She goes, now I'm here too. And she wants to go like Velociraptor style through the grass, like head and all this like scary oh, yeah. grass movement happening around her. Um, yeah. And just go straight for the nuts. <laughs> the nuts. Um, she calls herself a clever girl. She does. <laughs> she's, I'm the clever girl. Uh, and so she's going to do unarmed strikes, which are plus six. So one's going to be a 13, the other's going to be a 24. Mm -hmm. um, and why not? I'll is it, is it one points. to one target? Or you're, you're hitting... One target. Okay. Two nuts. Um, do those both hit? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then how far is the next target away from me? The next target away from them is maybe 8, 10 feet. I don't think I can make it. Okay. So then I'll just keep wailing on this dude. I will do a um, flurry of blows as well, which is going to be a 15. Do those all hit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're looking pretty healthy. Yum, 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 yum. Okay. So then, I don't know what gestures you guys are making, but I don't appreciate it. My <laughs> cool ass anime moment. Uh, that's going to be A, six. She's nuts stuff. A, five. <laughs> a, nine. Jesus. And A, lady? seven. Jeez. I use He's already movies. dead. <laughs> well, <let's> stop <laughs> punching his groin. Yeah, He's already dead. Damage. I think Kill I only did the attacks and I rolled the dice four times, but. <laughs> Maybe delete the seven. So the way that I see it is that Rosie knows um, precisely. No, obviously, definitely knows Kung Fu. And obviously, she knows where the balls are. Um, but I think that uh, the way that I see it uh, is that she knows multiple prostates. Ball-like. <laughs> Ball-like. <laughs> oh, I she made has, a match. She yeah. has known. She, she wounds every part of him, but the balls. That's the only thing. Yeah, safe zone it's left. It's going, in, it's going in the pocket. And then he's just like, yeah. are my balls. No. <laughs> and, 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 and it's like, it's like, are my balls now. Exactly. <laughs> no, like, nice. Leave the balls. <gasps> they are mine. One. Right? Uh, <clears throat> it's basically every, uh, it's like some kind of um, acupuncture point 
like every 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 place your knuckle uh, intersects this person is connected to this massive network of unpleasant signals. Just like Twitter. Exactly. Naruto. That's another Naruto character. <clears throat> unpleasant signal. Um, and he just collapses. Like you, you, and you, you intersect him, and he is simply set to the side. Yes. Um, the Narble Ten. Oh. There is no one in front of you. Has there anyone left up there? Uh, not on, not on your side. And uh, Sorsha is just cleaning up the last one on her side. Is he dead? Can I get over there before she kills him? You could, yeah, yeah. You have you have right. more. I want to. I want to. I want to zip over there and get the last guy. I need. Before she can. Yeah, as she's like about to go for the killing strike, I just go whoop. You stole her kill. I need to know where the. I'm not gonna sit here and fight ads all day. You know, I need sure. to go for the boss. That's true. I want to with the 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 game plan here is to. I need someone left alive to interrogate. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna Clark more over and yoink him right out of the way as she's about to chop his head off. I know she's gonna be really mad. So I do that. Okay. Uh, here. So mad. give me your athletics. Uh, give me an athletics check. I scream really loud while I'm With doing your it. Your dice. Yeah, sure. Of course. My athletics. Okay. Uh, I will take advantage because I don't want to get hurt. <laughs> Like, Seventeen. Like emotionally, I'm a strong yeah. boy, but not that yeah, strong. Yeah, I'm not that strong. This yeah. <laughs> hand, she's like, oh, oh dream journal. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Nineteen. Okay, uh, he is sort of stunned and set up for the final cut, and then Clark Ward just like definitely rubs, uh, like in the middle of this thing, like comes in contact with her on the edge, spins her around. Yeah. Um, and you're able to snatch him. Yeah. And then the, her blade just flashes against the yeah. knight. Mm. Nice. I say, don't kill him. Don't kill him. We have to find out where the boss is. I say that so she doesn't get mad at me. That's the smartest thing you've ever said. Yeah. Yeah. I yell was, from across the village. It was very yeah. dumb. <laughs> wow. We we need to know where Bad Man is. <laughs> She's like, brilliant. <laughs> so, wow. Wow. so eloquent. <laughs> you know more. Yeah. You know uh, more. She's like, he has no insignias of rank. Uh, Why is this a high value? I just say this is just wheat to be cut down. Just let me handle this, and I. I Shake him by the scruff of his neck. They say, "Where's your, where's your leader? Listen, you. Where's your leader? Who sent you? He's, he's, Talk. He's, he's, he's just stop answering me. <laughs> he say just, something. He's just, <laughs> just like wriggling in your grasp. He's looking over at this dangerous person. And now he's looking at this dangerous person. Say, don't look at her. Look at me. Uh, and then he looks down at the elk. Uh, don't and, look at him. Look at me. <laughs> and Clark, Moore, Clark Moore really gives it to him. Yeah. Really oh, try, wow. I hold him real close to both our faces. Really, really tries to intimidate. Yeah. Uh, the guy gives him a little poke with the antler. Mm. Ooh. Snorts. Yeah. <laughs> nice. 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 Uh, uh, he does not respond. He's in shock. Yeah, he's having a hard time. He's I'm gonna okay. give him a little. You're too far. A little that uh, <laughs> slip flap. Okay. I'll shake it out of him. I asked you a question, buddy. Nothing? Is this... Like, what? Where's your leader? Where's this coming from? He's like... It's, you're, you'll see him. Alright, you know what? Alright, <laughs> kill him! <laughs> Forget it. I tried. And just toss him at Sorcia's feet. Lawful good? Is that your, uh, your alignment there? Uh, oh. Chaotic good. Oh, good. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah, so good time to look at everybody's alignment. <laughs> he, hits the, he hits the ground, and then she just... Push the sword down, picks the sword up, wipes the blade uh, on his tunic, sword goes away. Uh, let's see, that was uh, Donar Blitzen. Uh, out here in the bad guy realm, this, this turn is also a part of uh, Grave of Men. Okay, I'm ready. He's ready. <clears throat> so the, the Grave of Men is continuing to look down at this uh, piece of just human fruit. That's just spoiling here on the ground. Uh, the rest of the horses have uh, ridden up 
and then been sort of like they've had to pull back mm -hmm. their charge sort of stymied by the uh by the shadow wall yeah and so then they they peel out uh to the south to try to gain another nimble guys i thought that they'd if they were in a stacked up in a line i thought that losing a horse to uh you know one stops dead figured they wouldn't maybe the last couple guys would get away but they continue. They, they they start to they start to move down to the south. Tell me what's happening with uh, Grave of Men. I thought this was the Grave of Men, not like the the bed of men, <laughs> like the couch of men. <laughs> no, this was the lazy of boy of men. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, okay, so how many have? So there's one guy on the ground and a, a slaughtered horse. Yeah, and then who's? They're yeah. peeling off to the south. Yeah, exactly. They're they're gonna try to move around to the I mean if there's uh hmm slaughter horse what's five. their speed? That what? was great. What was it? Give it to okay. said slaughter horse five. Nice. Thanks. That's what he's gonna try to do. How many are there? Wow. Five? Only on That'd this show. Yeah. Uh yeah, he's gonna follow him and take a take a <laughs> swat at him as in, in motion, if it's possible. And don't deal with this guy. Just leave him down. Deal. Each yeah. own horse. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Grave of Men just takes to the air and appears to grow in size uh, as the as these night winds just sort of buffet the shadow stuff that makes up his form. Is a buffet. Um, Cheeseburger in paradise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, he is. Uh, he is. He is up. He's, the, the rest of the horses have. They're running basically at top speed, and he can catch up with them next turn but for now he has a he has an eye on them okay uh, okay let's see so he has gone there now it's walnut dung grass hey so fun fact about call of lightning call mm. lightning is that one um they get to save for half so whoops on that one yeah. well it's, it's oh. save a half for half a nine but i can also concentrate it for 10 minutes yeah yeah i, oh. I figured it was hanging around oh well you, when you said the cloud dissipated i was like oh, oh. It's, it's just it just wisps it's wisping <laughs> Um, so I would like to try it again. You know those clouds. Uh, and you know, <laughs> going for going oh, that's for right. um, good idea. Those those bad boys in the grass there. Yep. So and you, so you're choosing. It isn't just anybody in that area gets hit. Right? Because I'm thinking there's somebody there now. I'm just asking a real question. I'm very dexterous. Wow, he's I good. got all my hit points. Oh, okay. Hit yeah. me, baby. And the there we advantage. go. Yeah. You hit for nine last time. I'll be fine. <laughs> that was ice. No! Oh no! <laughs> Three. Ain't less than last time. <laughs> Dang. That's eight. eight damage. This is how I feel about eight. They get flat. to try and get him to beat a fifteen. Dude, they're exfoliated. On Dex or con? On. Um, excuse me. Hold on. Wisdom. Wisdom. No, Dex. No. Dex. Okay. Dex saving throw. Mm -hmm. I'm fine. Twenty. <laughs> okay. Uh. No, damage. they don't. They do not do well. Good. Ooh. Well, then they get hit with a savory, tasty eight points of damage. The spice rub. Oh. <laughs> when you die, eventually. So did you save against it? <laughs> Many years from now. <laughs> okay. So you get you, you get light, lightly seared. Yeah. Ahi. But I I needed a little like jolt, you know. Yeah, honestly, well, yeah. Like, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm so sorry. You needed. I some, liked it. You you needed something to kind of wake you up, kind of get you <laughs> get you in the moment. You know what I mean? It's way past my bedtime. I'm very concerned about the river. Absolutely, that's a, a completely reasonable thing to be concerned with. Um, you you gave him your zap. I gave him the zap. Okay, perfect. Uh, Josh, can you tip the cauldron, please? Oh. No! I rolled wet enemies. And oh boy, how Yeah, it's on my wet enemies <laughs> table, which I've always had. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, no. Okay. Uh, walnut down grass. Oh, no. Of the Ombud oh. Panax Animal, you are dead. <laughs> uh oh. I rolled walnut yes. dice. Grave of walnut. Walnut dice. Grave of walnut. Yeah, yeah. Um, Grave of nuts. 
You're <laughs> Grave Nuts. You, my favorite you, cereal. You you, re, you reach out, slight wave, a little bit of embarrassment, uh, you know, to grandmother. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, she's like, no, it's fine. And then you uh, have a moment to smile briefly before you feel uh, a blade <gasps> intersect your back, just right like peeling right underneath the shoulder blade. Mm. Like the blade is in a place oh. that it can control every part of your movement. Oh. And it has been expertly placed. No. Yeah. The only comfort that you have is that I'm there death is, is soon. <laughs> that there is a numbing that comes along with that. Uh, so the pain is great initially. Awesome. And then as it starts to seep in, you don't feel much of anything. Lidocaine power, I bet my life on it. You might say <laughs> you're a numb nut. No. Oh, yours is better. Oh my How, it's really god. Good. How much? <clears throat> okay. The the strike itself is six. <sighs> okay. And the sneak attack hey, damage forever. on the back of it is 14. Holy oh, shit. Oh man, that's hellish. Uh, you are also Slice. subject to disadvantage uh, on, as a result of this on what? spreading everything on attacks. Okay. Of uh, this spreading numbness. <laughs> they snuck up on both myself and Kathris. Yeah, what was I? Doing? What were you doing? He's like, thinking oh, about my cool demon. Thinking about my cool demon. He's literally yeah, just exactly. No, no, he is. Yeah, he is just. Unconscious. I'm looking. He's, he's in his, in his mind. He's he's like oh. just sailing through the air with his shadow oh, friend. No. Come sail um, oh, I love and it. Just, and, and it just twist <laughs> like it's twisted with cruelty. Like your base. It, it's oh, almost yeah. like a a yoke in a way. Mm -hmm. Like wherever it wants you to go is where you have to go. Thanks, Josh. I let out a pained grunt. Rosie was making eye contact with you when this happened too, so she has seen this occur. Yeah, and you and you absolutely you absolutely see it. So you turn even with foes around you. Yeah, you turn and then you see her just buckle forward, and you see Kathris engaged in some kind of a trance-like state. He's drawing hearts in his notebook. In the air. Yeah. Now, not, nothing as clandestine as that. It's like, oh, demon. Doing okay. Good work out there. I think a little rosy head popping out of the grass, like a is it, but is like it, with yeah. frazzled, it, yeah. shocked hair. Yes. Oh just yes, like, yes. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Kathris uh, Draub. Just enjoying my demon uh, hold. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna assume that I did hear something, or somebody barks something. Yeah, rosy. I probably well, screamed. Well, it's like yeah. any other sensory input. There's always a a measure of inconvenience that comes with it. What is Don't it now? <laughs> This is who we are. I made a demon. Just let us be. I was a demon. We're gonna be together. Uh, I'm so I rouse myself enough to to look at uh, Walnut and his assailant. What do I see? <clears throat> so behind Walnut, uh, basically just moving her body over, like doubling it over, as if with a lever. Um, you can see. Uh, sharp blades that have projected on either side of a thin, uh, firm-bodied instrument. Um, and he, it, it, it takes no effort for him to do it. It's just, it's like something that's just happening, mm. and he's just around for it. And he is uh, watching you with um, intense, with like intensely clever curious eyes it'd be like if uh, it would be like if you could dissect uh, a specimen without opening them up that's the sense of that's the sense you get from this gaze i don't like it i like it a little bit but i don't like <laughs> it at me i like to make that look but not have it I, you know what i get it now <laughs> yeah I'm so many team. people were <laughs> troubled by that look <laughs> um I am uh, doubly angry to have been ripped from my demon reverie to see my friend pierced in the back by yeah. this toilet man. Uh, and I'm going to 
do something that does not require concentration. I'll come back, sweet demon, with just a moment. Uh, <laughs> Great. First uh, things first. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Take a little time out. Um, I'm going to do dissonant whispers on this, on this, on this guy. Absolutely. Tell me about the whispers. In this case, it is me just repeating over and over to him. Oh, I made a demon. <laughs> I made a demon. This is who I am. I made a demon. <clears throat> I, I made a demon. Like, think about that. Exactly. Does that it's mean your me? own shadow <laughs> seems to seems to thicken. You sort of draw him into this single I'm point. I'm thinking about bringing him over so you can see. <laughs> I'll prove it. You don't have to. Believe what I'm telling you. Absolutely. So this this he saves against this, correct? Yeah, he's got to save wisdom against it. Yes. And he also has a little something that we like to What's call evasion. It's 15, 15 yeah. but he's still got to take halves. Evasion. He still has to take halves. He has evasion? Oh, does he? Aww. Does he get to evade my half damage? Yes. But, really? wait, but it's only for deck saves. Oh, it's just for dex? Yeah. Well, I like it. I like my baby bear. This is super evasion. Yeah. This, this is, is the super best evasion you've ever seen. Yeah, so, he, so he, is, he is saved. Roll those dice. Yeah, I'm going to have to roll them all so you can figure out what half of them is. All right, so here they're going to be. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to have the, yeah, the yeah, base. Yeah. The full number. Well, no, it's not so, oh, no, that's all right. Hey. All right, so that's uh, seven plus hey. seven. Fourteen. Oh, one, one more. Seventy-seven. The number of the beast. Okay. Wow. So that is uh, 15, so half of that. Perfect. And he does not have to flee. That's he great. He can just you. stay with that blade. That Unless he evaded and that, that did it. Pretty strong. No, it's, it's super saved. cool. It's just, yeah. you, it, it, and the higher you roll, the more damage they take. I mean, that's yeah. the. That's, <laughs> that's the name of the game. That's, that's the takeaway. Yeah. The more scores, the more must point to win. If, if this guy's staying there, now I'm triply insulted. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even care that I made a demon. <laughs> You piece of shit. It's not important you to you at all. Roll at the end of each turn to see if I this do. demon turns yeah, on us. Yeah, he keeps forgetting. I do. Uh, okay. No, I only forgot one time. After the first command, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So you got to do a charisma save, right? After his turn, right? Yeah, yeah. charisma save, buddy. So now I'm grave of men. Oh, I want to do my own thing now. Nope. Don't get to. No. <laughs> now, uh, Rosie B. Stinger. When he rolls with disadvantage, too. So. Um, how far am I from Walnut? Uh, now, you are uh, perhaps 15, 20 feet away from Walnut. Okay. With difficult terrain, unfortunately. Yeah, a lot of grass. <laughs> like, that's going to stop me. A lot of grass. Um, so... A lot of grass. A lot of grass. I nice. have spent... Oh, that's not a key point. I will immediately shadow step again out uh, to... Of the, of the grasses? Yeah. Out to um, whatever shadow is closest to Walnut, but before that, I go, "You stupid motherfuckers!" <laughs> 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 and I teleport um, to her and can and get as close as I can, and then run over to her assailant. Yeah, I mean, um, he's he's right behind her, so it's it's easy to get to him. Okay, I am also, I know I shouldn't, but it's Walnut. You got like do Kate it. is like this is a bad idea, but Rosie definitely you're gonna would. get. Yep, she's gonna Thor style call the staff of the master back mm -hmm. as she's running mm -hmm. and give him the whole sauce. Okay. Everything. So as you're as you're running over, you're just oh. reaching out with the expectation that this massive facade of shadow mm -hmm. is gonna spool itself um, back into the weapon that you know. Yep. Um, and that wall comes down, but it's because I need that that extra. Absolutely. Oh. Well, and you did you did guide them to another path. I mean, they That's they good. did not have access to the yeah. Yeah. east, the easiest entrance to the city. So yeah. Okay. Yes. So uh, as I'm attacking this person, do I notice anything? Is it just another bandit that managed to sneak up on my walnut? You you doubt very soon. This is this is Merrick Sharp. Oh. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'd recognize those. He's mad about that loot. Those yeah. haunches anywhere. He okay. has, a, and this is not the loot. Out of this bag. is not the other loot that you saw. But this is definitely a. This is one of his other collection. Oh. Okay, it would backup loot. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, I took that good one. Uh, all right, here we go. That's going to be a fourteen. Uh, lucky. Reroll. Uh, an eleven. A fifteen, and. Reroll again. A 14. Okay, so 
as you as you bring the rod in, uh, sweeping it around, he takes the loot. He takes the his war loot with the axe blade firmly implanted in uh, walnut, mm -hmm. pulls it out and just scoots her away with his boot. Under A boot scoot. <clears throat> Um, boots, 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 right. So when, <laughs> yeah. so whenever, boots, whenever, boots, whenever, right. whenever you swing in with the rod, how many attacks was that? That was five, Four. right? Four? Four total. Yeah. Um, every every time you fail to connect, he takes this as an opportunity to respond. Wait, how many times did I fail to connect? Four. Whoa! This has got a big AC on this bad boy. Oh, so he's gonna uh, so take reactions on everything. Yes. Sixteen. God. Oh man. Okay. He's good. He's just like. <laughs> uh, so only only one of them comes back. Okay. Uh, for nine points. Okay. Um, and you can feel that along with that, along with that strike, you can feel uh, a numbing presence. Okay. So disadvantage is real. Dang. So it's just it's effortless. Ooh. It's not. Um, Monastic, it is, it is whatever the polar opposite of monk combat is. I see. So for the most part, though, there's like eight attacks total. Face me. We're like those cats when they attack each other. No, but it's, it's that like, soft paw. It's, it's that, that like it's that super, super soft. soft. Oh, do they? Yeah, do they're that? very. They're very. They don't peaceful. actually fight. Yeah, it's I like thought, this. They're no. fighting, but it's just sweet. Good for the animated. Uh... Not Rosie. So. <laughs> So oh, be a good there, there is something. Yeah, let's do something. Yeah. It's cringe. it's <laughs> new. Okay. It's. I don't like it. No, no, no. But there is. This is something that you have learned to be cautious about. Okay. Um. Dinar, what's in? Uh, everyone's dead around me. Oh yeah. You it's, did your it's, job. It's it's awful. Up here. Congratulate myself, and I uh, take a nap or stand. I guess. Nice. Uh, uh, well, no, I'm there with Sorsha. We killed the guy. Couldn't get any info from him. Uh, the lost man's here, though. We'll retreat back to the town, or at the very least, I think in this scenario, would still own Clarkmore. Get up on top of the mine and look down and assess and see, like, well, we killed all our guys. What's everyone else doing? Exactly. <clears throat> Try so, to convince Sorsha to get on as well, yeah, exactly. whether she does or not. It won't. It won't be hard. Okay. It won't be hard because uh, getting back down into the fight is is her math. Yeah. So, uh, atop Clarkmore, uh, you are gazing down. You can see the bulwark of shadow that Rosie Beastinger had manifest. And then you can see it all being drawn to her hand mm -hmm. um, as she engages with a, a new foe. You can see uh, Kathris and Walnut sort of hunched over, um, and then you can you can see the entire thing with your your eyes. You see four expert strikes, all repelled and then responded to with martial vigor. Uh, what do I see? Otherwise. Like from this high vantage point, yeah. I see a fight. From the, I see from three. The south, from the I know south, where, yeah. You see four more foes uh, now at their full height, walking through this tangle of grass. Okay. And you can see uh, nine horsemen uh, approaching the town from the south. Do you know that a group of foes is called a tome? Hmm. A murder. A tome. A tome of foes. Yeah. Uh, what about? Uh, you don't have to support this. What about on the west? Available what about now. Riverside? <laughs> <That's really good. laughs> Riverdale. What's happening with those crazy kids in Riverdale? But you don't see oh, any I love Riverdale. That show. Okay, just making sure. We're gonna watch this a lot. Of uh, oh, she's the one who talked me into it. It's kind of hot. It's amazing. Where's that demon at? <laughs> Do I see the demon? Uh, I don't know that I want to <clears> get over near that demon. <laughs> it doesn't seem like a dinar. So they are down now. here, and then if you are looking for this demon, you can see it sort of. Imagine a dark kite. Um, Behind the behind that wave of horse flesh, okay. running into the south. Um, then I will come down in the the middle to get in the fracas. Exactly. Next, it's going to take all of your juice to get down there. Yeah. Um, but you'll be bringing Sorsha. Yeah. With you. Actually, uh, dual wielding. Actually, down well, into this mess. 
Hmm? What is it, Walnut? Can't got, you... Got something, girl? What? Um, okay. <laughs> if you... Oh, no. I was going to say, if you got up to somebody, you can do um, you can do your special ram attack because you moved more than 20 feet. Oh, because the clock won't. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's got a range of 60. Well, do you want to set up for a charge next turn? Yeah, I'll yeah. come in. <clears throat> so you'll, We're going so, at full speed. Yeah, exactly. Same formation as before. Sorsha with a sword out. Me with a sword out. <laughs> Dude, One on each side. Me on the, mine's on the right. No, no, on the it's left. It's kind of a. The image is balling. Yeah, <laughs> it's exactly how it should it's be. It's a warhorse, right? Yeah, uh, absolutely. Uh, thank you very much for your turn, uh, Denar Blatt. Happy, nice Happy to do it. Happy to do it. Now glad I can uh, look at things. Grave, <laughs> grave, grave of men. Grave, um, grave is slavering. Grave. There is so, so much down here to know. Uh, in the way that his kind knows things. Please, I didn't go to. I didn't go to school at, at eight to years of shadow of school. Men. I'm grave of doctors. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm doctor of man graves. <laughs> so, 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 and he has his pick. Like he is, like, like I say, he is just like a. He's just like a consequence. He's just sort of drooped over the the affair. Yeah. Uh, any anywhere he wants to go, he can have. So he is where? Where is he looking at? Uh, where is he relative to the the people in the field? But over. Oh. Okay. Atop. So like that, a raptor. So that means that he's atop the. Uh, uh, he can look down. He and can see have this horses. Oh no! He he is available for the entire process. He can. It, 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 you know how in the same way? Imagine a a, a dark midnight. Uh, culinary tool, in the same way that it might be able to Julian, mm. um, dice, oh. mince, mm. some other type of cut, no. slap chop. Yeah, yeah, slap. yeah. Imagine dark, a dark slap chop, like a matte black finish. <laughs> this is the <laughs> bar clean. This is not the dishwasher safe. But, but yeah, I'm trying to see whether or not, like, when the command is issued. Your command doesn't require an action at any point. Yeah, so uh, because I want to inform it, you go after uh, Merrick Shard. This is the sweetest meat. That sweet meat? You ain't got to eat dinner first to get the dessert. <laughs> Just come down and get it. Just come it's down. It's real rich. Mm. It's real tasty. You got some. Okay, absolutely. Yeah, well, here, then let's, let's see some... Let's see some dice over here, brother oh my man. God, you're gonna throw that demon in the yeah, mix. Holy shit. This yeah. is gonna be everybody race down. <laughs> We're all just converging, and it's gonna be just a giant. That is good. Shit show. This is gonna be great. Yeah, get Fuck him in here, and guy. then do your charisma check at the end to make sure he doesn't resist. Yeah, sure. it, yeah, it doesn't, he doesn't eat all of your friends. <laughs> That's yeah. true. Okay. Uh, so should I just veer off? Like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we live together now. Yeah. yeah. No. And then no, this is how it goes. Yeah. This is how it goes. They're riding in. They're setting up the charge. They see that, and they're like, no. And then the credits just yeah. come over the top. <laughs> we just go to the mines, scoop Kronar yeah. up in one hand, just drive off away. over in the distance. <laughs> Sunset. Yep. The Perfect family. You just keep going down. It's like better this way. <laughs> better show. We're gonna we're gonna live in these giant show. teeth. Best show. Uh, yeah. Swoops down. He's gonna claw at this guy. Uh, and I will give him another of my advantages, if I may. You may. Uh, yep. Yeah. All right, let's see what we get. Biak. Five. Roll it. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. So that's plus five to hit. <coughs> so that's going to be 24. That is quite good. Thank God. Um, mm. as, he, mm. uh, as he sails down uh, and puts out that, uh, puts out that nib, uh, let's see. What's the what's the damage on that? It's like forty six, right? Forty six plus three. Plus three yeah. Oh, if he has advantage. Oh, I guess he. Well, if he's coming from above, yeah, that it's count? pretty good. Yeah. He's also okay. surrounded by foes, and yeah. All right. You know what? I'll accept that. Uh, so woo, it's going to be nine plus. Woo woo! It's going to be nine plus eleven. Did you do plus a good three. job? Yeah, yeah. Plus, three. plus three. That's thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> I love when Kate helps us with the math. That's very nice. I love math. <clears throat> so he Woo! so he comes down with a new delight uh, and learns all he can with his grasping, tasting claws. Um, one that don't grasp. Ro- Rosie says, "Yeah, that's what you get. <laughs> you, get it, you get a bite of that. All right. Yeah, yeah. Let's do, do it. it. Let's figure out. He's got a plus four. That's right. 
Thanks. You get you roll a. Oh my god! Please keep that. Please keep it. Can it be? It counts. Yeah. No, it's it's a couple different tiers here. Oh. It's a total shit show. Yeah. Wait, wait a little bit. We don't want that. Safe. Let's well, define this. I do want this, that. Okay? It's fantastic. So here's what happened. A disadvantage. So Let's describe to the podcast what just happened. Yeah. <laughs> I rolled a twenty, but outside of the box, it bounced out. Outside the box, didn't go in. You got to so think. Technically, doesn't count. That doesn't count. It if can't it, count. Yeah. Okay. Because the box is real. The box. But then somebody gets a prize, and we get ruined. Yes, yes. No, but you bump, bump, bump. The you, prize, we're going to do the prize, okay, but we're good. not going to. Okay, that's not gonna all I care about. So, prize, it's going to be happening. Uh, Elderwood <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, Academy. Look, at, it. Look this, at this. This is the coolest fucking one, too. Here, we'll put it in the box. Yeah, put it in, put it in the box. Put Try to roll box. around that. Yeah, yes. Look at that. What's inside there? Hold on. What's inside? It's Wouldn't you like key. to know? Oh, oh my no. God. It's oh, really it's complicated. It's a puzzle. You don't get to open it. It's the room. What? Look at all these. Oh, you get to put your goods inside. These holders and pencils. And there's a mirror. You can look at yourself. They call that the. Scrying. They do. They call it pool. the scrying pool. It's not the scrying pool. It's the scrying <laughs> pool. pool. Yes. So put that so, in the middle. No. Roll the dice for real. Do, does you said disadvantage, right? I thought he rolled only with if I know his true name, which I don't. So uh, he gets a fun roll, just a regular old roll. Oh, not this time. It. He gets Damn what? It. Why do you Nine. want him to leave us in chaotic? It's, 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 it's going to be funny. a mess. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he doesn't break free. The chipper shredder. Yeah. I love my friend. <laughs> Here, no, Walnut. Because I'm a good friend. Don't walnut, say walnut, it. Walnut, walnut, walnut grass. Walnut grass. Don't grass. Don't. All right. So I have okay. an axe buried in my back, it, it, which he has now he has now withdrawn to attack your other friend. So I it's, feel it's okay. the heat and wetness of blood <laughs> on my back. Yeah. The light and, and, the and, heat. and an unpleasant I feel of cotton. Um, yeah. And yeah. an unpleasant <laughs> numbing sensation. But when I smell that blood. Even though it's my own, I get the taste yes. for it. Yes. And I turn into a wolf. Yeah. A yeah, I turn into a wolf. A wolf. Um, oh, yeah. And a couple things about this wolf is that um, oh, I know, it take to get you into I know a wolf? that I have disadvantage, but I have advantage when I'm near my friend. Your so pack. that's messed up. So that's back to normal. Pretty smooth. Um, and I'm going to take advantage on it, so which puts me back to having advantage. Nice. <gasps> And then, uh, <laughs> and then now I'm gonna try and do a bite on this bee. A super bite. Nice. That's a 15, mm -hmm. which would be a 20. Ooh. And that's which is a 24. Yeah. Do I hit him? Yeah, no, no, no. He definitely gets hit. <laughs> Tell me about these hits. Um, it's just two to six plus three. I love. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm I'm putting stank on y'all's rolls, but I love that when walnut. Is attacked and stabbed mm -hmm. instantaneously. It's wolf time. Like that's her panic yeah. button. Yeah. You know, like because it's just what we were talking about earlier. Is I love wolf nut so much, Dude, and I feel three. like that's your core form. Wolf you are rolling like wolf shit. Is hit, but look at the charges. <gasps> oh! They <Baylor! laughs> It's the number of fucking. Yeah, we have the number of the beast here. Oh, oh, Jerry, can't take advantage of one. And Dinar all have six charges. I, I, I already gave you. Oh, okay, never mind. Then I get to three damage. Plus, yes. plus three. Plus three. Six damage. Oh, Ooh, God. another six. Oh, I didn't uh, like that. Four <laughs> sixes is the number of the motherfucking beast. Now. That's from one two. two. <clears throat> so you 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 bring it down. Uh, oh, and he must succeed on a DC strength DC thirteen strength saving throw. Or Yeah, yeah, he's good. Or or, or, or get knocked down. Or he's prone. Or get, <laughs> or get knocked the prone. fuck down. It's it's no good. So at this point. Um, uh, he gets, he gets, he, uh, you're able to get that bite, give him a little shake, um, and then, but you can smell, like, the, the battlefield is a complex melange mm -hmm. at this point. Uh -oh. You can smell, like, Demon. The, the horse sweat, mm -hmm. this sort of cold, uh, acrid scent of the shadow plane, and then, the four more mm -hmm. warriors from the place you can smell Clark Moore coming in from the mountain. He smells and, great. And he's just he's, you, you. You've placed the entire thing in here, and this is you. This is what packs are for. Oh, <laughs> they are for this. This is what a pack is for. Now, um, so it is uh, as we can see from Clue's uh, cool initiative tracker here. It is. The bad guy turn, mm. and it is going to be a hell of a turn. Clawed by a demon, 
bit by a wolf. Not looking great. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna not be, a good day. It's going to be real bad. So these four, these four fellows mm-hmm. from uh, from the grass, um, you've stymied them the entire way, uh, and now it's time for them to uh, it's time for them to make a deposit uh, of steel. In your, take a dump right uh, here. Uh, <laughs> in your, uh, oh no. Right in your muscle grass. Bank. These guys just cool. Cool. so uncouth. <laughs> it's yeah. gross. I'm ready. It, these are some weird guys. Yeah. No. <laughs> Fight me. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Woof. They're not going to at you. Your dump face. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, I don't uh, AC on your wolf? Uh, AC on that wolf is 14. I'm just 14. a pile of 14. AC on a wolf. You like my you like my wolf song, Alyssa? You don't get, you don't get it's it. Alyssa's that birthday, ring? Shadow Council. Yeah, your ring. counselor. Oh, it is her birthday today. Yeah, yeah. that's what? why we're all Tomorrow. silly. Um, does my ring of protection that I have on give me a bonus when I'm in my? Yeah, I mean they don't. That's 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 how people adjudicate that stuff generally. It isn't like so you wear you have a bunch of awesome shit, and then you turn into this other thing. And you don't it's get just it. It's a magical thing. Yeah, it's inside um, me. So fifteen. Yeah, it's within. Um, it's it's on the your ring heart fingers. No. It's there the whole time. <laughs> it's on my. It's on my. My. <laughs> <laughs> so they. So they surround. They basically surround you. Sure. Tell me how. Tell me what that means for the nut. I mean, like, what, what? What is the instinct? Around the wolf. Her, I mean, her hackles are raised, but she is like so dead set on this target, especially after she, you know, has bitten him and like. Tasted him. Mm-hmm. She Ooh. wants to finish it. Absolutely. She wants to you inside it. me. <laughs> <laughs> but like to eat. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so, like a burger. In my stomach. Yeah. yeah. So so you're so you are constantly like your eyes are shifting between this new mm-hmm. group of foes and then back. It's you know, we've seen we've all seen that like with the toy or the stick. Yeah. It's just that shift. And every time you shift back to Merrick Sharp. Another one of these swords uh, just catches Great. catches your flank. How um, much? Dang uh, individually, Catch. it is. Uh, let's see, that is six plus six. Oh, uh, seven plus seven. These guys are brave. Oh boy! How close did they have to get to my shadow 26. monster? Twenty-six. Come on, man. <clears throat> uh, it's not me. Uh, that, this isn't what I want to happen. So they, like, like I say, they are just, it is the apex of cruelty. I am so bloodied. They are, ju- they are just, just swiping at, uh, at Wolf Nut. Oh, I don't like it. Um, the horsemen come in and they try to connect with uh, Kathris and Rosie, mm-hmm. but a detachment of them also go out for Clark Moore. Ooh. Oh. I am up. like barreling in. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, Top no, speed. No, they are coming at you like this. Right. Joust. Give it a shot. All right, so you have a AC 14, you said? I have current me? Yeah. Myself? 16. I currently have one of 16. Okay. And what did you have? 16. Okay. Wow. You guys are fine. They missed. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> Kathris. Definitely. Yes. Kathris grabs it. Mm. Uh, and it's no good. So the horsemen you can see close now. Uh, no swords. Um, they have bows slung on the back of the uh, on the back of their steeds, but they're carrying these uh, wicked uh, serrated spears mm. on the back. So they get a they get a, a commanding reach uh, from horseback. I need. Where's my D eight, Chris? It's gone. You can't have it. You can't have it. You can't roll it anymore. Uh, that's twelve points for Kithris Drop. Okay. Um, the other three attacks. Yeah, that's please. Uh, just there while go. they're while they're doing their ride by, the other attacks are just swiping um, over the over the top. Yeah, swiping okay. left. Um, here. So what I would like from you, okay. uh, Donar Blitzen, is an animal handling roll. Uh-oh. We never get to use animal handling. It's hmm. true. It's true. I'm so this is flat basically on animal handling. Exactly. So you're trying to. You're trying to get yeah. in, and they are basically trying to break this uh, momentum and break this access. You're trying to get to the okay. main body of, of the troops. 
Um, all right. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll take advantage. Yeah. Nope. Outside. There you go. That's a 12. I'm flat on these. That's a 12. Okay. Okay. Got anything for rolling the same number twice? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's harder to roll than a 20. <laughs> and what's your AC? 18. And what's Clark Mars AC? I think the same. No. Or is he elk stats? He's elk. 15. Mm-hmm. Oh, but do you, don't you do you confer anything with your lovely cloak? Do you protect? Oh yeah, does that the cloak, the, the cloak absolutely does protect, um, especially against uh, area of effect abilities. Um, so uh, as you're able to you're able to break through, they're not able to stop your charge, hmm. um, but you you do get stuck for eight points on the way in. Hmm. Uh, yeah, gosh. Okay, first drought. Okay, so I just took a. There is there is a, a, there is a, a palpable turn. Yeah. In fortune. Describe to me, the uh, where um, grave of men caught uh, Merrick. Where is that on his on his person? On his body. Yeah. Um, it's going to be his left shoulder. Okay, and he is. Uh, we're I, the way I envision it is that we've got these these men are attacking Wolf the nut, Matt, right? Yeah, and basically over, like around, right? And then over here, we've got Merrick looking this way, and then there's a big shadow monster engaged exactly. with him. I'm not sure where you are. I'm also within melee distance of Merrick. Uh, and we've got some horsemen that rode past, did, took a swipe. Yeah, indeed, at, and there are four horsemen. Mm-hmm. Four additional soldiers, Merrick Sharp, and the Shadow Demon. Right. Okay. That's the that's the calculation you're looking for. I think I think the horsemen are out of my out of your league. Out of my yeah, out of my just, just reach. Don't, don't talk yeah. about yourself like yeah, that. Don't no, sell no. yourself short, but you got a lot to offer. Yeah. Demon. Oh. Uh, <laughs> guys, come back. Uh, how long does the demon last? Also, by the way, I was just oh, that's night. an hour. Huh? An hour long. Oh, an hour. Oh, you're so, oh, okay. complete relief for a full hour. <laughs> Uh, fast acting, uh, satanic relief. I see. Um, I got that. I got my, that spear in like my my side. I took that chunk. I see uh, my leaky in wolf form, mm. being surrounded by mm. these low men. Oh, and, the lowest. Uh, I want to know where that wound is because I'm gonna I'm gonna let loose a tentacular spectacular. <laughs> if there's any, if like there's any necrotic, <laughs> just freshly dead. Matter in him, yeah, just up here on I, the. What I would love oh to do God. is send use that to send bolts out and kill these four motherfuckers, stab them in the back. So See how they wound like is it. Gonna barf tentacles. Yeah, if we can do that, I would oh really appreciate God. it. <laughs> it's always you know an invocation of these of these things that do as they wish, uh, but in my mind, I like it. Well, I here them, I, I do. I do want to get. Uh, an arcana check from you. It's not going to determine effect because you're not trying to manufacture something. Okay. But I do want to know what type of scale we're talking about here. Okay. So classic arcana. No advantage on it. Oh, it's back! Ooh, <laughs> is, that, is that 26 or 27? 23. Okay. 23. Jeez. Nice. Absolutely. <clears throat> so, uh, in the, the breather that... Uh, Merrick Sharp has earned uh, from the rest of his brigands uh, getting this wolf off of him. Um, he has put his hand and is trying to sort of staunch uh, from the shoulder. And then uh, from the hand itself, through the hand, through the flesh of the hand, um, rods of violent amethyst um, pierce out. And as near as you can tell, like from your point of reference, they don't appear to have a termination point. It looks like a rendering error. Yeah, they never do. Right? <laughs> so it so they, it goes from one side of his shoulder back through the bunkhouse oh. and maybe out into the river. Right. And on the front, in an instant, uh, 
like maybe pencil thin, infinitely jagged, sharp rods go out in a second and erupt and just go straight through their eyes. <laughs> Yikes. And so there's a moment here where he is, where Merrick Sharp is the pivot point for this structure yes. that's been created. And then he shifts his weight and they all break off. And then all of the <laughs> brigands collapse and fall. And there's that, that, that squeaking sound uh, that you hear like when cheap, like a cheap goblet breaks. Like a cheap glass goblet. Um, oh wait, well, is I, it, does it keep going? If I have a, if I got a minute to yeah, mention something. No, somebody. no, you have a minute, and, I, then, and then I, we'll. I, huh. I whisper to him, "I made that too." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love it. Hey, Here. wait, the charisma check. Charisma check, please. Real wait, quick, but, oh he didn't, but he didn't go. Oh, that sorry, even hasn't gone yet. Yeah, can you do he, it real quick? Because that would be a really cool note to end. Just on. to wait for it. Yeah, uh, let's find out. Oh. <laughs> it's a one, ladies no, and gentlemen. It's a one. He doesn't know. He, he's your he, best friend now. He, yeah, except forever. <laughs> uh, Shadow Council, may our labors please you. Uh, you have frittered away another Thursday, uh, engaged with content of this level. It's Wednesday. Wednesday. For whatever reason. <laughs> but they're going to watch it all day. Wow, you. you're <laughs> they was killing it. all year last year. <laughs> hey, uh, Shadow Council, Every listen. Every day. Listen, so we're going to go uh, to the potty room. And then we're going to come back, <laughs> and then we're going to talk to you at Table Talk, and then we're all going to go home. What do you think? Maybe. Maybe. I got to go to the airport. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, you got to go get... Okay. Ooh. I'm going to go oh, After that, we're going to do whatever it needs to be done at that time. All right. Um, but don't go anywhere. We're right back. 